What's up, Cool Jeans? Welcome back to the Good Pizza Podcast. Uh, I'm Jay Peasy, the host of Good Pizza Podcast. Uh, today, we have a very special guest. Um, he needs no introduction around these parts. He is a Sacramento native. Um, he's a grower. He's a plug. He's a mover. He's a shaker. Um, he's the owner of Turkey Bag Tom and Toasted Cannabis and formerly known as uh, Shatter Farms, if you know him from back in the day. So um, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce... Uh, my cool jeans to you, my friend. Turkey back top. What's going on? What's up, bro? Thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for having me on, man. Yeah, man. For Thanks on. for coming, it's dude. A little weird, but I like it. It's cool. Yeah, man. It's Get cool. Get story out. You know? So, you know, this is his first time on camera. So, you know, he, yeah. I bring people out of the shadows, if you will. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I bring people out of the shadows. And what we like to do on this show is um, just show people what this plant has done for us. Show people, you know, where this plant uh, what type of journey has brought us on. Because it could bring you all over the world. And, and we meet different people. And we certainly met. Through the, Absolutely. through the plant, you know what I'm saying? So Everyone I know. Um, everyone you know, right? <laughs> it's been dope meeting like a lot of the people like who really move the industry up north. Oh, yeah. Like, and not just kind of the faces we see, but you actually get to like inside baseball with some of the real people. Yeah. Actually, yeah, like, yeah. Made this thing move. From yeah, exactly there's people from who get credit the and then there's people. Into yeah. the, you know, yeah. the cannabis bottle. So that's pretty dope as well. Yeah, man. And, and we were just talking about this like, Bro, like, I, I bring the people on this show that, like, are behind these big brands. And I don't mean, like, you have ownership in the brand. Like, we're the ones moving the work for these brands. We're the ones making these brands pop in the streets. Nice. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, you can't, it don't work without us. You know what I mean? So, and he's certainly one of them that, that has uh, brought a lot of light to a lot of brands. And we've made a lot of brands a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. We're gonna uh, we're gonna bring it all the way back and uh, let's talk a little about the come up, man. Let's let's talk about like you know who was Tom before Turkey Bag Tom, man. Like what what was your upbringing like? Like where'd you grow up, dude? Um, I was born right here in Sac, uh, okay. right off Mac. I stayed there for like five years and then my family moved to Loomis, and that's kind of where I okay growing up. I remember Loomis. I don't really remember Sac that much, but um, it was cool out there. It was one of them towns you could just ride your bike from one end to the other. Love that. You just snag 35 cents out of your mom's fucking purse or your dad's little change jar and go grab a burger and ice cream cone. Like, shit yep. was cheap. I remember, like, it was it was fun back in the day. Was it like um, the curfew was the streetlights? Pretty much, yeah. Fucking yeah, like, we weren't, a, system. What the we fuck weren't even allowed in the house. Like, Right, yeah. we weren't allowed in the house. Yeah, and we, well, where I grew up, it was just weird court all the way off the street that went down like a couple hundred yards and then branched off into two huge courts. Okay. So we were allowed to do whatever we wanted. There was no one driving through there fast. Oh, like, go. kick the can, uh, all you that. know, all that. We were, we were playing a uh, full length baseball field, like in the courts. You know, our neighbors that lived in the way that we were hitting the ball hated us because, like, we'd be in their backyard. Smacking houses and shit. Smacking houses, you, you know, know, you name it. We had some old neighbors that hated us, but. Come man, on, there's man. like 20 of us on the street, you know. We was and outside, just, baby. We was yeah, we were all in the same age range. So yeah. we'd fight together, we'd hang out, play baseball. <sighs> I remember a lot of these kids don't know what kick the can is, man, but that oh, shit dude. was the best. Like, no. if I have to explain it, I mean, Handball, you put the, the can, can in the middle of the street at night. Once you stand around it, whoever's it is it. Whoever kicks it, you know, they kick the can off. The person who's it got to go run, go get the can, set it back down. Everyone else goes and hides. And then oh, they got to find, they got to find right. every single person before someone sneaks and hits, kills and kicks the can without the person that's it seeing them. And it restarts the game. Everyone's, Unlocked and never can go rehide again. Damn. So that shit was on and cracking, and we would play every night, damn near till <laughs> eleven o'clock. You know, the That's lady's cool, house man. that we chose to play next to, she hated it, of course, because you hear can. can, you know, can rattling around all the time. Damn, but man. That shit was fun. It was different. You know. That's a big part of uh, these kids' upbringing that they're missing out on, bro. Big like, time. they're missing out on the neighborhood. Like, big time. the neighborhood like all raises right you. Kids. Like, you have all these influences. Outside. <clears throat> yeah, outside. You were, you were, um, you were faced with confrontation. You were faced with people that didn't want to fuck with you. You ain't get picked sometimes. You had to fucking prove yourself. You this guy yeah. keep picking on you. Got to whoop his ass. Mommy and daddy weren't always right there. Mommy you had to survive the day and, working. and then go home and like you know if you yeah. wanted to talk about it, talk about it. But you you got through that day on your own. Like, yeah, man. So much. so I, it served us so much, bro. It served sure. our generation so much, and it's sad to see that you know a lot of that's 
you don't see that shit no more. When I see a kid's playing outside, I get so fucking happy. Oh, yeah. I'm like, where do you want to go buy from? fucking ice cream? You go shake shit. your parents' hand real quick, you know? <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> someone's doing something right. Of course, that's true. For real. You have to. Yeah. You have to. Show ourselves. So. My daughter does. She's 10. She's like, there's no one outside. There's nothing to do. I don't care. You go sit on the grass. Down. I don't care. See that dirt over there? Yeah, you're not allowed in for an hour or two, you know? It's like, I have to limit the phone time. I got to get outside, get some sun. For real, dude. Yeah, it, wow. it was fun there, and That's then cool, uh, man. what was what was uh go ahead, Jamie. Did Lumen, I remember uh, back in the day because I'm like from North Island, so mm-hmm. North Side, so you guys weren't that far from us. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, but I remember it used to be how uh, Lumen's people used to say, "I'm going down to sack." Yeah, we say down to sack. Down to we sack. say down like, to sack because like it's a little down. incline. There is a little it's bit like of a Southwest. Yeah, I mean, we, we consider say. ourselves more Auburn. Like exactly. we're okay. like we're more okie doke up there. Like <laughs> I mean, I swear to God, we, when I was growing up, we had cow chip bingo nights. Like in my Wait, at my what? school. Yeah, cow chip, cow chip, bingo, cow chip, yeah, bingo. What's that? We you well, they would go out into the, our baseball or soccer fields or whatever, and they'd sp- you know spray in the in the grass like bingo numbers, and then they'd l- let cows go out there, and we'd all just be sitting there, and wherever they pooped, <laughs> that was <laughs> yeah on the number, <laughs> cow chip bingo. You never heard of that? Oh shit, not chip, no chip, cow chip, oh, chip. bingo, right. yeah, right. cow chip bingo. Based off the shit. Yeah, based what? off the shit. You have heard this, Jamie? <laughs> I'm surprised oh, you what? laughing over there. I'm like, hold the fuck. <laughs> yeah, up. okay. So yeah, I grew up. That's I, not see, a white boy shit. Worlds, I kind of lived in the hood and about lived this? over in Oakieville. So like, yeah, it's, it's, great. it's hey, funny. Yeah, I mean, why yeah, not? it was just an excuse to drink beer. Yeah, really, I'm not mad at. I'm not mad. So at as a all. kid, I didn't, I didn't really understand it. I, but my parents would go. But yeah, looking back now, it's just a time to really just to go get drunk away from the kids. Yeah, I mean, my mom was doing bunco and she was selling Tupperware, all the shit oh, that people tight, did back tight. in the '90s yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that's that's, how I, yep. that's what I came up on. My yep. mom, she worked for the county, but she was always doing something that's on the dope. side. My dad put in every light pole you could see from. Sacramento all the way up to Reno, Tahoe, up and on the freeways, like every single light, light pole, pole oh, no the signs, anything with electrical up and on the freeways. That's what my dad did. So he was gone Damn. like seven, eight, nine months of the year. Whenever it rained, he'd come home, Fat. you know, but oh, he shit. was like, he, he ran a crew and he was out there like, Shut he up, would come home. Damn. It was me and mom's really. Yeah, I can relate, bro. And my mom got tired of that, you know, when I was like nine or 10, they got a divorce. So uh-huh. we moved from there um, out to Roseville. And, uh, okay, a little closer, a mm-hmm. little closer for the people that don't know, a little right. closer to Sac. Uh, um, what was high school like, bro? It was different. I mean, up until up all the way up until high school, I moved every single year. My mom was always struggling, so okay, we were always in a different duplex or whatever. Um, so I had a new new group of friends. Like it was all in Roseville, but. It, I don't know if you've ever been out there. There's like a new, there's a different school like every couple of miles. Fact. Different okay. Different jurisdiction. So my friends would be on the other side of town from the other year and then I'd be forced to go to this other school and meet all new people. Oh, man. And that sucks. Again, yeah, it sucked. Sucks so, in the beginning. Yeah, it sucks yeah. in the beginning. But then you later. wake back yeah. up at the oh, same middle man. school. <laughs> yeah. When you go back to middle school and high school, you see, you go kind of all them same people. Yeah, yeah. you got like twice as many friends. Right. You're cool with both right. sides. You're like piecing shit up from exactly. this side and that side. School, you, know me by like three different names just like how it is now like yeah yeah yeah. one year we had too many people with my name i'm not gonna say it but in my class right and my teacher was like well what do you want to be called by and i was like ryan and so like everyone in my class that made year, up a name that, yeah everyone know me from that time frame as ryan so we'd be in high school and dudes come and be like wait what's up ryan and my my friends would be like who the fuck that's not even I'm like a regular nickname name. that's don't a straight worry, up but, a different name yeah really? it's, it was my middle name so you I was say like, like bullet or like <laughs> <laughs> bang him or something like you just went <laughs> ryan <laughs> right yeah so i'm used to have multiple uh, you know having different personalities uh, that's, cool, man. <laughs> uh, that's cool man i get it you gotta do what you gotta get i was in all of them bro all of them i had to be in all of them because but like where i lived all the skater kids lived or you know but then on the other side of town i play sports so i'd be with the baseball kids and then you know i was i had a big mouth too so i'd get in fights with other kids in my group or the older kids and have to like kind of kick it on the other side of campus for a bit with these guys. And it, you know, and these guys would always be like, you know, we're friends, but why are you here? He always knew I must've started up some trouble on the other side with some older kids why, or something, why, especially why when you got so into high school, here? like, yeah, yeah, we yeah like second. we went to middle school together kind of shit. I'm like, hey, what's up, Jeff? They're like, fuck you doing here? I'm like, just chill, I'm, I belong you know, here. Jeff, this <laughs> fucking Ryan, yeah, this, this week I'm here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, you know this cat. <laughs> What'd you do? Yeah. 
pretty much. That's what's up. So yeah, high school was fucking pretty wild. High school was off the chain, man. Like I got expelled and let back in. Oh, in, in was wild. Was wild. Yeah, well, yeah, I got yeah, yeah for sure. Like well, yeah, I'm okay. Well, I guess we can go back how it started. Like I was a dork. I was straight nerdy. I played sports forever. Okay. Like my roar, my belly button or my shorts were above my belly button. Like dorky were like whatever my mom dressed me in. Sure, so sure. I got beat up for what I was wearing. Oh, my man. mom ended up gotten remarried a bunch of different times. Not a bunch, a couple of different times. Right, right. Remarried this dude who uh, coached baseball and I, his his son was a great older than me. It was like most popular kid in school, all that stuff. So they ended up getting together and he paid me. I remember like right when we first met, he was like, son, I'll give you 50 bucks right now to, to pull your, your pants below your belly button and stop looking like an, a dork. I was like, 50 bucks? Word, okay. So that's what he just started like, Maybe school like years. 12 or 13 is when he okay. came to the picture. So he started schooling. That's, cool. that's a good time to get cool. 12. Yeah. You know, because that's when you start yeah. caring about being cool, right? Yeah, my like... dad, he growing up, he was always like, once they got divorced, he was always doing his thing and <clears throat> he wasn't really around. So, sure. Yeah. So this guy kind of put your me on a lot. Right? It's my stepfather. Yeah. yeah. Put me on right. a lot of stuff. No, I remember you telling me that. Yeah. So when did the whole weed thing come about? When did you get into the weed, man? I like you know freshman saying? year. Uh, summer school well freshman year people were not really doing much uh, but summer school hit okay and for some reason they during summer school they made like people from like the bay all different places come to one school like okay so we were we, yeah so like we had you had a full you had every different school coming to one school and it was in granite bay in like the nicest neighborhood in Great right. Bay. Yeah, the yeah, it was yeah, the weird, Bay bro. Yeah, like that. and it was interesting. Yeah, bro, it was crazy. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so I would always be Same in trouble. Shit. I'd always be behind the class. So I did summer school every single year, damn near. But my freshman year, I remember this dude from the Bay. He was like selling weed and talking about weed all the time. And I was just always next to him. We sat next to each other in class. And he mm -hmm. was like telling me my first experience. He was saying you can get high off chewing the stems. <laughs> That's false. Yeah, but we were stupid. Like me and right. this other bitch in class were chewing these stuff. Oh, like, man. hella dumb, you know. They just he just he was, wanted, like, he was just he's like, how do you feel? Like, oh yeah, you know, yeah. You get fake high. <laughs> shit. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. So then you know you you go back to your other group of homies or whatever. You're like, yeah, I just tried the weed stuff, Bro. man. They're like, word, you know. Everyone's all talking all about it. Stems. Yeah. So then like, I feel like from my experience, my group was like wanting to try it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I tried it, but I didn't really feel it that much or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I, you, you didn't know. know how to promote it. No, no, no idea. So like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. know you smoked the shit, yeah. you know? So I knew what it, I didn't really know what it smelled like. I didn't know shit about it. How old were you this time? It's like freshman year. When we were, okay. So like I was, 12, 13. Yeah. But. Yeah. We were like saving our lunch monies and stuff for like whatever. Fridays. We'd buy a sack, you know? Yeah. 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 And back in the day, you had to be one dude. There'd be like one dude across town that had a sack. And like one of one of the four homies had like the plug to get a, a peach optimo at this store because oh, wow. he wouldn't he wouldn't he was so lit yeah bro, one store yeah one store across town so you gotta go I mean yeah. you're in the center of Roseville you gotta go all the way out to like at this time the smoke shop was at uh, Roseville Square yeah um, over like in the older part of Roseville and then you'd have to go all clear across over by like the Wood Creek golf course to pick up the sack. Oh yeah. And then your home, everyone was throwing, oh right. dude, it was a nightmare with the process. And then like try and roll the shit. Like which one Man, you who got, can roll? who can, can roll? actually roll without fucking this yeah, blood so up? Yeah, so everyone had a position like, yeah, everybody had a like position, my homie bro. James, he could always get the fire. Nick always had the Optimo on deck. I had the, I had the ride, I, I had the money. Oh, that's I was a good still, position. I was, I was yeah, gonna say, I'd always a good spot. Yeah, those guys didn't have to do shit Yeah, exactly. But you I was can make like, moves. Yeah, I was the dude. Yeah. I was always either selling because uh, I had, I have ADHD or whatever. So yeah. back in the day, we were selling um, goddamn whatever pills you take for that. Oh, what the fuck? What it called? Adderall. Ritalin? Adderall. I had Ritalin, and no one was buying it, right? And so this kid was making mad money off Adderall. So I was talking like, oh, how, what do you what what is it? And he's like, it's the there? same shit, bro. Just tell your doctor that the Ritalin makes you sick and you want to try Adderall. I was like, all right. Went to my <laughs> doctor work? and I was like, yo, like. I don't like the way this shit really makes me feel, but my homie takes Adderall and he says he likes it. Can I try it? And the lady was like, sure. Damn, this was for Scripted. sure the 90s. You can't oh. just say my homie liked it. This is like <laughs> early 2000s, bro. I fuck? swear to God, that was like freshman year. Damn, no shit. And bro. growing up, my mom would always put like these weird right. capsules in my food. 
Like oh, chill for real. Yeah, she wouldn't let me eat um, like red vines or red like the red dye number seven and sugar and shit because I'd be bouncing off the walls. Really? Oh, you? I'd be in like elementary ADHD. school eating my sandwich. I'm like this tastes funny, and I open it up, and there'd be like powder, like oh, pill powder fuck, on that dude. shit. So she was always having me on some shit. Damn. Always, and I didn't know. How'd yeah. you feel about that? It made me mad until yeah, I got older and realized that like now she has to give it to me. Some shit that makes me normal, like. You know, yeah, like, yeah. she's, like, basically, you've you been on this, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I get that shit. I was making a killing. Because my <laughs> yeah, mom didn't that. know shit about taking pills or nothing, so right. I would just sell them. Right. But then, like, it started getting bad where, like, it'd be 10 days in and I got four left. Yeah, exactly. I'd be out, and, like, my mom would catch on, so she took the pills. And yeah, then every she... morning, like, I'd leave the school, they'd always be asleep. She would oak, crack the door and just hand me one. And like make me like show her like we're damn near in jail. I'd have to like oh, show her. To do- yeah, yeah, but I would gum that bitch. I'd keep it gum gumming. and dried out. Say, yeah, Ooh. save it for five every day for the fifth day till Friday. Okay. Because they're worth like then you got five. They're worth ten or twenty bucks a pill or something like that yeah. back in the day. Maybe five. Hunt it, hunt got me a little fifty hundred sack yeah, on a Friday, dude. It was easy. I was yeah, it was a, I was the baller, dude. Easy. It was great. That's and great. then like I think sophomore year I started selling uh, ecstasy and. Weed Except wasn't even right. really into like we smoked weed, but I wasn't really trapping it. it right? Not because it smelled like we lived yeah. in my mom's house. Like yeah, it was hard it was to, so hard to sell. like we didn't think about so, jars or vacuum seals, none right. of that shit. I don't think they made vacuum seals back then. Yeah, I, I'm sure they did. Like if you're a hunter, I think my dad, yeah, my dad had one. one for like his salmon or some. shit. I've never but, heard of one until I started selling weed. For real. I mean, so, still I mean still for real, they still for food. They don't have a for weed section. They got dry, wet, flower. They don't got a flower. So why are you, but hold on, why are you selling? I only thought they were for weed. Like, I, thought yeah. they were weed. I thought they were manufactured just for weed. No, they were doing that since like Pro prior to the 90s. Because I remember my dad having salmon fillets yeah, smoked and it was like, so sad, right? sealed. But yo, pro tip, boys and girls, if you're going to seal, seal on moist or wet mode. Because it seals it for longer, less smell. See, I never knew. Moist, bro. Always go moist. I mean, if you're going to have it, you want to moist or you want to dry. You know what I mean? I thought that meant the contents, bro. Is you the, be well, doing like content, wet shit? So, like, yeah, if it's a meat and it's wet and you meat, put it's moist, right? Marinade. So, you want to put more, you want to, it seals it for longer. So, it gives it a better seal. Cause I thought wet. it didn't pull as hard as fast so the juices didn't go into the little trash. Oh, shit nasty, so right? You, I now we need to know. I got to No, no, that's for sure. You read it? No, nah, I just know. See, no, you don't you got to read it. <laughs> Come on, man. motherfuckers be using shit for 20 years, jeans. bro. TikTok or what whatever. Say, I read it. Have me knowing I'm doing stuff wrong for 30 years. You'd be finding out you're supposed Yo, to be I don't like that like guy, that man. Or do the TikTok stuff. You know stuff. what I'm talking about? He's like, "Here's what you've been doing wrong." And yeah. I wish I would have knew this yeah, before so my 30s. Th- exactly. That guy pisses me off. Bro, he, so he, perci- he enlightens me and pisses me off the same Precipitation time. chance or whatever. I go over this all the time with my dad and everybody else. Chance of precipitation. Yeah, that's not how, what the chance it means of it rain. Might rain. It's the ch- the per- the percentage of the area that's going to get rain. It's not if it's 70% chance. Oh, it's 70% shit. of the forecasted of the area. Yes. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, bro. Read my stepdad was always on that some shit Pizza like facts. that. He'd always like, "Hey, uh, do you know why? Do you know why they call it a rule of thumb?" No, and I'm why? like, "What? This is the type of shit he was always on. He has hundreds of these stupid ass facts." This is so. Great. This is just one I remember. You, do you know about the rule of thumb? He's like, back in the day, you could beat your wife with a stick as long as it wasn't as wider than your thumb. That's the rule of thumb. People talk about the rule of thumb. Yo. That's from beating your wife with a stick no wider than the rule Imagine of thumb. Imagine how many women exactly. say that. Exactly. The poor girls don't even notice. Exactly. Promoting women abuse. Jesus. And so he oh, always, he'd always be like, ask a question, and if you didn't know the answer, look it up. So then you'd have that random bit yeah. of information in your head. Like, you'd always no, remember it. Even while they're not, you'll find it, like, still on the books in two states. Like yeah. Right, right. Like right. Just, no one's ever. No one's ever asked. Out, no one amended it or nothing. It Fuck around and win a court case. Like, yeah. You got a dope lawyer. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Crazy. Um, yo. So there's another one. You ever heard of Happy as a Clam? No, I have not. You never heard that? Uh-uh. My boy Bugs, rest in peace, used to say that all the time. I'm happy as a clam. Well, you ever heard that, Jamie? Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I've heard so it, but I don't know it's why. It's short for. Ha- oh, you've heard it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's really short for Happy as a Clam, at high tide it's just they just left that off because you think of how happy clams are when the, the high tide comes and they go down in the sand and they don't get eaten by the seagulls happy as a clam at mm. high tide gotcha. but nobody says that high tide is fucking too much right. it's too much work it's too much yeah anyway um that was cool man i think i might add that to the podcast fun facts 
Random bits of random information. Random fun facts. Okay, cool. So what was your first job, bro? I like to I like to let people know like, hey, we didn't just show up like this. Maybe yeah, um, did. No, nah, honestly, before I that, know, I was always know. hustling before that. Like, uh, no, no, first job. Stay my first, first real, real yeah, job. Yeah, no, it's a, it was a real job, but it was a hustle. Like, uh, I would pick up dog poop from all my neighbors. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd get That's paid to do shit like yeah. that. Five bucks a thing or whatever. Yeah. Mow a lawn. I'd always be doing okay. that. So always. you're a neighborhood kid. You know how to yeah, get money. Yeah, yeah. I'd always, I'd you always know. have a printed out. I'd be going to doors. Oh, that's what's up. You're a hustler, bro. Yes, you from day shit one. In you, bro. Yeah, because I, no... my parents wouldn't really give, like, they wouldn't really give me nothing. They didn't have money to give me. Yeah. So, same. like, I, my first, me and my best friend in that neighborhood I told you about, we took my dad's logs of wood, nailed them together, and put a piece of uh, wood on top of that, nailed together, passed out flyers saying that we're going to do, like, a BMX event. I kid you not. We were like eight years old. We we're gonna do a BMX event. And charge twenty five cents a head. Twenty five cents. Twenty five cents a head. Everyone came out to the court, and we'd go from my homie's top of his driveway down off the ramp. Boom! Everyone was like, "Oh, we go back up and do it again." And that was it. That, that was, was it. the show. Yeah, when we bought like bubble gum and like ice cream. And well, shit. eight years old—that's kind of a show for eight years. Old. I'd yeah. go see it. This is my, my son and yeah. his little homies. That's yeah. way better than. But like after he that, uh, he he like I said, with different yeah. homies that watching what people do, like my, my one of my buddies was getting bread. Like we we're young, yeah. he always had money. He was throwing papers. He had hella paper throwing routes. Papers. The paper routes so he would pay us. They he got lazy. Pay. He was smart. He would he'd pay us to come bundle them all up for him. So okay. then he would just wake up and go toss See? them. To at a, at a one point, leverage. yeah, he started just saying, "All right, now you have this route." You, you, I mean, he had that all the way through our high school. We were young, 13, 12, 13. He was doing that. And he's, he's successful now? Bro, his dad owns fucking DP, DHS or that ser- the shipping service, the yellow and bread. Owns he DHS? owns the whole rights DHL? to DHL, the whole like Western rights to the whole. Yeah, oh. they live in Texas, bred it out, bro. Yeah, shout out yeah. Sean Tweed. Shout Swear out to Sean God. Tweed. Let's go. Yeah. So, like, when did your cannabis career start? When did, when did that start? Probably. When did you, like, really get into cannabis mm-hmm. and like the culture and like they're doing your thing and well once we start we couldn't get weed okay like, we couldn't get weed consistently so okay. we'd find whoever had the weed and then we'd like get some shit on the front and when, that's how it started just like we couldn't that that hundred dollar stack on a friday it got be too hard to mm-hmm. find or mm-hmm. we needed it more consistently sure. so one of the homies ended up uh catching a settlement from high school like they ran out of football helmets that day and yeah, he caught a he didn't have one. Caught so he one. caught a fucking helmet to the tooth and broke his whole Ooh. his whole front of his thing, caught like sixty K. Yeah, he did. And we're like fifteen, sixteen years old. He went out and bought hell of weed. Like his mom didn't care. It was oh, just nice. him and his mom. They lived like down the street from us. So nice. I'm talking bigger turkey bags than I've ever seen today. Like these turkey bags were huge, bro. Big ass oyster bags. Yeah. Like back Full in the day. That's back insane. in the day. And like he would front us an eighth each every day. Go to his house in the morning, break us off an eighth. We'd bust them all down in the sevens and yeah, stuff and bro. we TA'd so we go look at people's you know papers act like we're doing some shit sell them some weed nice that's what how we it started in school or yeah nice. yeah yep so on so on Adderall I got so Adderall and, and dime Adderall bags. and little dime bags ecstasy ecstasy oh. was dude, ecstasy was ecstasy crazy was huge in the I made so much bro. money off ecstasy yeah. bro I was making like thousands yeah. dude I'm talking 15 16 years old making more getting, money than I ever made now and for what we don't know for the people listening Roseville Wood Creek, uh, Wood uh, Creek. Pertaining to Sacramento, yeah. is one of our affluent areas. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. It's a yes. uh, uh, rich white people. Well, rich white. <clears throat> yeah. Straight up. Yeah, rich white it, folks. It's, yeah. It's on the outskirts. They know where, outskirts they know where they're at. As a and we know where we at in Sacramento. So like, they especially where we're at, we're we're, we're like at. a stone's throw from Highlands. Like right, we're right that's, there. Where we're our neighborhoods at? We're right there by Watt. We're so. Like we were in baseline. and out, yeah. Baseline. So, that was where, so, if you made it through baseline, baseline you're good. No, but baseline. that was hot. I used to meet my partner over there by the thing for you know. Yeah, I no, ride, yeah. yeah. I it's a cool little meetup yeah, spot. But yeah, if, um, what were we talking about? Oh, dude, little bit too frosty. Yeah. So did a lot of Roseville cats go to North Highlands to get no, whatever? But I'm saying there. Were, only, my only point was there is a lot of opportunity <clears> and, for a hustler because and they're only a that lot of that close. Have money. Yeah, but bro. he's in a Horse. dynamic Horse. where he's in a place where he doesn't have a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Around a lot of people who yeah. come up with a yeah, lot Yeah, like of we're money. the poorest people in Roseville. Straight right, up. right. Like I, right. I, I yeah, was I'm using sure. my mom's softball glove for my, my baseball up until yeah. high school. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have Heavy I didn't have shit. shit. Yeah. I, yeah, we didn't have nothing. So 
I just wanted to, because uh, that's a weird, like, dichotomy. You're, like, it a is. poor kid in the rich neighborhood. For real. Yeah, yeah like, so yeah. we're in my neighborhood. The rich neighborhood likes, mm -hmm. and yeah. he gets the hustle. For sure. And he said, if you like it, for I sure. love it. Oh, for Let's sure. go. Yeah. For sure. Because yeah, all my homies had real houses in this neighborhood. I swear yeah. to God, you been, if you've been in Rosewood, you know they have hella nice big houses. But then in the same exact neighborhood, on the same street, they'll have du tiny duplexes on the corners. Yeah. Where it's just a duplex, like a two-bedroom little shoe. Yeah. We called it the shoebox growing up because that's where we yeah. live. My mom, my sister, and me, we live in the shoebox. We shared a room. It was, yeah, but yeah, my, all my friends, forever. literally... The houses down all had big two story three yeah. huge houses and we had the on the corners were duplexes we lived on the corner yeah. so i came from i seen it all but yes, we didn't exactly. have it all yeah that's yeah, for yeah. sure everyone just assumed like, like i i was the kid yeah. getting made fun of at school for having fake iversons and shit bro I, like all the other kids had real shit i, so I, I was, was tired of that i was catch i, I got jokes on me because i didn't have cable if certain periods had the snow channel yeah yeah and i remember my boy made fun of me one day i was so mad Yo, at least my dad can afford cable fuck you pat yeah. Yeah. third grade it still pissed me off i love you bro fuck you yeah um yeah man and, and like Fuck, hand me down shit. My grandmother had a, a secondhand store in the hood. Like, it was a famous, like, secondhand store in Montclair, New Jersey called the Bar Box. And it was like, you know, I walk in there and get whatever. It was all hand me down shit. But I was like, a first pair of Tim's, mm -hmm. you know, caught a little cool little polo shirt, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, man. See, my Nobody shit, whatever had I had was like whoever my mom's boyfriend at the time, like, if he was trying to show out. Like, I remember one dude bought me a hella nice, like, bike one time. Yeah. I was like, I remember that That's Powerlight P19 Falcon to this day because it was like the nicest shit I ever had. Yeah. And it was just someone, some dude my mom was dating, like, yep. caught me that bike. But other than that, like, I had, yeah. my mom would, she would be like, the first of the year, she'd like, you guys got $60, you got to buy two pair of shoes for the whole year. And yeah, then you bro. get three outfits, and then we'll see what we can do, year for sure. you know, next time, we'll for see sure. what we can do. But, but to this, you, that gave you drive. Yeah, like, man. The There's an advantage to that. We see yeah. the hustle came. Yes. Because you actually got to see it. Early. Yeah, my mom was struggling. Not like everybody in the turf where nobody really even seeing nobody. No. Happening. You're in right. a place that you're right. seeing people having it even though you don't. So it's building that drive. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to be like this. Yep. And Hell yeah. Even at an early age, 12, <clears throat> 11, 13. It still is in the back of your mind. Yeah, man. Like, yep. I got to be one of them. Yeah. So like, if I wasn't I playing it? baseball, like I was, I, I went to the courses, I was an umpire referee for soccer i worked in the snack bar oh, no shit. you name it i did it like whatever yeah. money i had i gave it to my mom my first real job was like wing stop she got every bit of my check no shit, swear to god man, that's dope every bro. bit of it for that's like dope, nine bro. months I, before they fired me because my, my mom shit, finally bro. got married to my stepdad and uh i went to hawaii for 14 days with them they fired me but that was my real, first real job nice bro wing stop shout out to wing stop slaying mm -hmm. wings mm -hmm. slaying real. wings and things i like it Thanks. that place is so awesome GK, man. Um, y'all need a tree more often. Your yeah. He starts fucking buying He's yeah. buying peas. So yeah, and so Yo, I was tell, mainly can pills. When you got to the, can you tell that story? The, what, the Mexican? Yeah. Can you tell that story? So when I, I think I graduated when I was like 17. I don't know how. I think I begged my teachers to let me pass, basically. I was the first person in my family to graduate <laughs> high school. Like my older brother, everybody else in my family never graduated. No so, shit, man. Yeah. Nice. Still to this day, my older brother never, never did that shit. So anyways, but... My sister ended up going to college. She's a doctor. My little sister. Shout out to sis. Yeah. Let's go. She's a, she's a real doctor. She though. dunked your ass. I know. She shits on me. I was first. But. She shits on me. You know what I'm saying? She just kept going. She went past. But we were, we were selling. We, I was buying weed through my dad. He had a couple of grow houses, but I couldn't buy it from my dad. I had to like go across town to buy it from my uncle who got it from my dad. And we were playing that whole game and, oh, and yeah. thinking we were kingpins. And then one day we were, I was at Sarah College on a, on a class, something I was doing, I, I thought I was going to school. Like, my mom wanted me to go to school, so that's why I wanted to, I, I tried to do it. At Sierra College. Let's go. <laughs> I got a, uh, what I got, <laughs> super, yeah. Yeah, I got that's superintendent right. banned from, or whatever, the, the, the dean banned list from that place. What you do, bro? I got somebody F's. They said if you get your if you get another bad grade, you get like banned forever or for like ten years or something crazy. So you wasn't even trying. No, hell you're no. You're just going to school. I failed art class. Yeah, yeah, I was trapping. Yeah, you're not trying. I wouldn't go to school. Oh, you wouldn't go to class? No, I wouldn't gotcha. even go to class. That's step number one. No, my homie lived right off eighty class, eighty man. and uh or right sixty five. So you're right just there. like all right, mom. On the way, yeah, I would take my and mom's car. My mom got hella mad. I would yeah, borrow my no mom's shit, car. Bro. Yeah. 
I just cussed my door off for this dumb shit, man. Yeah, and I'd I'd, I'd, money. I'd stop on Failed my way by boys on the way to college and stop at my boys' house at like swear to God at seven eight in the morning every single time I like oh, wake him up, be like, "Yo, what are we doing today?" Have been my kid, bro. And we had just had jars of weed, we were chilling, and then um, I remember Sierra College. I was chilling out the back, smoking a joint one time, like in between classes, and this Mexican dude just came barreling through the doors, like talking hella shit, Mexican, like Spanish or whatever, yeah. you know. And gets off the phone, he's like, fucking bitches, you know? I'm like, yeah, bro, if you need tree, tree, let me know. Like, that's why I smoke. Fuck these bitches. He's like, no, if you need tree, let me know. I was like, a young kid. Well, I was that just like, oh, that, that, all that right, bro. I'm like, dude, you, you don't know who you're talking to. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm no, this, dog, man. this dude is like the Northern California Zeta shot caller. Oh, Jesus. And he, his brother, like, made him a bet that he would buy him all new teeth if he got straight A's. So that's why he was there. He wanted him to go back to college, get straight A's. And he had like dead teeth. Oh, he was gonna give him all of, like a fresh grill if he got straight A's. Say what? So this dude was a straight gangbanger. Like, yeah, Northern just... California Zeta shot caller just got out of prison. Yeah. For he said he was like like in the car during a deal, and went bad, and he was like dragged, being drugged while hanging in the car, all type of shit. Mm. Went to prison. So I met this dude, and this dude was connected, bro. Like, yeah, you think? <laughs> I had never seen like we weren't fella. buying half half pounds were not not a thing like we buying zips well, like two zips right, maybe right this dude the very next day showed up to my homie Rob's house the the apartments I used to chill out every day I mean I remember I had my little fake BB gun and shit like oh, that, like boy. I'm like man this dude's gonna rob us like <laughs> I've never met anyone with real weed like that so I'm like dude this fool's full of shit right he pulled up and we he just we walked in the apartment and he threw down a half p. I think it was like Afghan goo or something mm-hmm. like that, G13, some old school shit. And was like, like was like, yeah, just let me know when you have the money. <clears throat> like, I don't even think we paid for it. He was just like right off the rip. Oh, was that like, was fucking gay. Yeah, and I was like, now what? You credit, boy. Not a so I'm like thinking this dude was gonna rob us at first, and then he just front us a half P. Yeah. And like growing up, you front me, I'm taking off of it. Like yeah, that was my that thing. Like yeah, yeah for sure. So I'm tell you, not so I'm from tell the you. homies, but like if a, home, a friend of a friend, if I went to a, a friend's house and they knew I yeah. sold and they had a, a crop and they had a little QP or whatever, and they'd be like, yeah, see what you can do with it. Like they would go back to go get the QP. My friends would be like, dog, don't do it, bro, don't do it. They knew they'd be like, dude, leave him alone, don't do get it. You, I'm man. like, fuck that. If he's gonna give it to me, I'm gonna take it. No, Ryan's gonna for get sure. your ass. For sure. So, I, yeah, I just took it. I would always take it. But this dude, I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't. Like, you know? Some, some gave you that vibe. Some gave me that vibe. Like, dude could probably find me. That cartel vibe. Yeah. And it's I like, rocked it in for years, bro. He taught me a lot. Like, he yeah. had hella rules. He work with him and yeah. yeah. He taught me he a, lot, right a lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, lot. rightfully so. You, for sure. You know, and he kept me out of, like, before him, I was selling mad pills, ecstasy, all the shit that was hella hot. And he would be like, you can't fuck with me if you're doing that shit. Like, I'll give you all the weed you want to ever make as much money as you want, but you selling pills and guns and all that extra shit. He's yeah. like, that's how I'm going to get in trouble. He's like, your exactly. ass gets hot and I'm hot. Yeah. I can't fuck with you. So, like, dude was giving me whatever I wanted, as much as I wanted every single time, like, and was putting me on game. And he was, like, onto some weird shit. Like, he'd make his own, like, potions and bless me and come over to my where I was growing or whatever at the time and, like, do some seance oh, shit. shit. He bro. made me think, like, I'm, dude, I was 17, 18, 19. Yeah. I, I worked for him until I was about 21. And I think I, when I was, like, 18 or 19, he was like, damn, bro, what are you, like, 25? I was like, no, nah, I just turned 18 or something. He was like, bro, you've been working for me since before you were eight, even 18? I was like, yeah, I mean, well, I just carried here, myself baby. as a man, yeah, you know? Yeah, so yeah. You go just, fast, bro. You go fast. Yeah, yeah. so I... Always paid, right? Hey, right, you pay like I wait, always. baby. Keep them coming. Always. And so, yeah, he we would just always meet at this coffee shop, have coffee. It was just the same little routine. It was cool. And he would keep me out of trouble. But at the same time, like, he made me feel invincible. He really did. And then would always yeah. have my back. I would still do stupid shit, tailor dealers or whatever. Like, I remember I fucked with, like, the Yuba County Peckerwoods one time and took some of their shit. And they were leaving voicemails on my phone, like, saying they're going to rape and kill my mom. And oh, shit. Hell of shit. Like, the, straight Omar from the yeah, yeah, like bro. I, I'm all niggas. It was yeah, I didn't know what you doing, doing bro. Squad, they like, weren't, yeah, bro. I swear, I do. Do you food, remember that bro. state property? Food. You remember the movie State <laughs> Property? Yeah, bro. Get down, down later. Get down later. Yeah, that's how I, bro. I would be like, where'd you get that weed? And they'd be like, if it wasn't for someone in my, I had like eight guys selling weed for me. I had like this corner, this block to this block, 
damn near a whole couple miles in Roseville that I was like, if you were buying weed, it was my weed one way or another. Mm -hmm. So if I'd be like, how you know, if that dude didn't want to sell the weed, my weed, I'd be like, how much do you like your tires, bro? Like we can keep fucking with you. Yeah. Like I, I can make, up. yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn your pocket, or you're gonna take my money or yeah. take my weed, you know, yeah. kind of thing. Yo, in my neighborhood, when that movie came out, a lot of motherfuckers was just talking that get down, lay down shit. And yeah. A lot of motherfuckers didn't have the gangster behind that, and they got laid the fuck down for you. Well, I would thank God I was in Roseville, I bro. It. I seen somebody get rolled down a set of steps for saying that shit in the wrong fucking house. Bro, people didn't boys. want to have problems out there. There were a bunch of scared little white boys. And yeah. It was like... Yeah. yeah. Like there are some real for groups, sure. Right? There's some thorough sure. white boys yeah. everywhere, bro. Like some thorough white boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah man. Good. Especially in California, man. Especially yeah. California. You never like know. Gangs you never there. know. And motherfuckers be like cool with living in the hood. So you never know if yeah, they're yeah. like connected yeah. or if yeah, they're yeah. just yeah. broke or like what. always been. Mm -hmm. Crystal in Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. 80s, not, see, not like, us. Not us. They've been cooking it. We've been like, cooking it for a long time. Rosebud and niggas talking about Crystal back in like eighty in the eighties yeah. when because we always had like HA and like the guys right there and especially in North Island we got Fred Linda right next to sure. us. So, yeah, so, Sack Maniacs, you got, Maniacs, you got, you got yeah, fucking yeah, all types they, of people. They're running like so when he got yeah. popular, we were <clears> like, Wow. We've always had three. Kids. Always had it. Like, like that's yeah. Just I feel like been. California. They usually just be Okies, but now it's like everybody California, like California, Arizona for sure. For sure. I didn't see, when I used to go visit my wife in Arizona when she lived in Phoenix before we were just dating, um, I remember being in her apartment complex and they fucking shut the shit down, bomb squad come through. I'm like, yo, what the, what kind of raid is this? Mm -hmm. And the, it's a meth raid, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, oh shit, they bring extras for right. those type of because they don't want to blow the fucking spot up. Exactly. Yeah, right. so, but to go back to my point that yeah, I do exactly. leave voicemails on my phone, right? I'm like tripping, I called my homie. He tells me what to say. Tell him blah blah blah. Let M A this or that. Leave basically leave a text or voicemail back to dude. I wake up the next morning with apologies on my voicemail. I'm dude. I swear to God, I'm like 17, 18 at this point. I got grown men calling my phone up, apologizing, saying my bad, bro. I was drunk last night, flying off the handle. We good, bro. I don't want oh, no same smoke. Word. Jesus. Yeah, this tool was can. I yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. 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 We can't, yeah. We can't go no further. No. Than that. no. Yeah. We got in some shit. Like, we, can't, we can't tell the end of that story. Well, it's put it this, good. I mean, you, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, no. Nah. No? Nah? All right, cool. I did some shit. Another episode, yeah, guys. Another episode. Another episode. He's just, yeah. hey, it's the first time on camera. We're not giving but you no, all relationships part two. Everything. Yeah, and definitely. Had some, you had a good mentor. Strong ones. Good street mentor. For sure. With a lot of muscle. Uh, that yeah. A lot of people don't have. A lot of people don't have relationships. Yeah. And like my <clears> stepdad. <throat> right. Freeway Ricky Ross stories and things like that. Where yeah. Guys like meet the guy early. Yeah. And really yeah. Come down there like he was on that path. Well, with yeah, the early, ecstasy, bro. With the ecstasy, yeah. we were buying them shits for ten and fifteen dollars a pill, right? Yeah. And I'm talking to this dude in my class. We're sophomores, and this girl's like, "Yeah, my boyfriend got him for like two dollars, three dollars." Oh, and I'm like, shut the fuck up, right? Yeah. And like a week or two go by, I'm like, yo, what's up with that, though? But you got to you know? buy a boat or what? No, she was like, oh, you want it? She like gave her a boyfriend's number. I hit him up. He told me where to go. It was like right over here off Antelope at the, it used to be a liquor store. Now it's like AM, PM or some shit, uh, 7-Eleven. And uh, it used to be a liquor store. I walked in there with like a couple of my homies. We all got knives and little fake guns. Same shit. We always think people are going to rob our little stupid asses, right? Right. So this dude comes in there and he's Good like, shot. Motherfuckers this motherfucker between y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Wasn't that so, always the reason? Yeah, or maybe. You so, know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> uh, mind you, this girl was like a freshman. She was younger than us. This dude was like 25. Like grown ass man, right. Indian dude who worked behind the counter at this liquor store. Right. And was like right off the rip was like, yo, y'all can't touch any of the hard liquor, but you can buy as much beer as you want. What do you guys want? You want weed or pills? Oh, and I seen his weed and I was like, nah, I'm cool off the weed. I need the pills though. And this fool went up into the rafters and pulled out a boat and handed it to me. Nice. And it was like, go in the back, in the back bathroom, and count out how many you want. Oh, say From words. the rest. So he was always, everyone 20. always fronts me, even to this day. So everyone, you stole 20 of them? No, I no? counted out 100. <laughs> I told him I, I had 100. I, I, bought, I got 100, went to go pay him back a couple days later. Let's say I owed him like, 300 bucks for the hundred I got, right? He'd be like, you Grab got that one eight. He's like, you got that 180? I'm like, yeah, sure. He'd always forget how many I got. He'd always forget. Yeah. And he would never double check me. So my ass would be like, yeah, I got 200. I really got 240, you know? And I'd be paying. And then yeah, he would forget and I'd have to pay for like 180. So I know you're a little grimy. Yeah, ass bro. Some, I swear to God. I, yeah, I've always, yeah. I try not to be grimy. But in my younger years, I was definitely the grimiest 
because all my <laughs> we friends go through had, our grimy bro, stage, all bro. my friends had money, and if I wanted to keep up, and like, <laughs> yeah, be able to go do the shit they had, they yeah. were doing. I had to have money, so look, we all got to pass. Yeah, bro, bro, it was motherfuckers are going, hopping on the bus and going to the mall and buying outfits and going to Starbucks and shit. I, yeah. I couldn't even do that. I couldn't even, you know. So yeah, I had to get, I had to get up, with man. it. I feel it, bro. So I feel, it. and we all have a past, bro. We all have a past. We all have a little grimy season of life. For sure, some just turned it off quicker and realized that wasn't the way, and learned about karma and bad energy and. How shit will really come back to you, and then karma, you just, that's funny you bring that up as karma because karma's real, bro. Once I started believing in karma, and I do some dirt, and then boom, I it always be threefold. It'd always be threefold. It'd always be way worse. And I remember the last time I did some shit. I don't even remember what I did. I know I did some stupid shit, and like I might have been like nineteen or something. My mom was knew I wasn't going to college anymore. She the jig was up, and um, I think I had got fired that week. My girl left me. Um, I crashed my my car, and I need a new transmission in it. And my mom kicked me out. She was like, "You got to either go back to school. I already know you're selling. You're selling. You, you got to leave the house. The cops are going to my house saying they're gonna take my little sister from my mom if I because I was selling out the house. Yeah. And so she was like, "You got to go. Like you gotta you're go. making it hot. You got to go. So I just was like, "Fuck it. I took it as my mom was kicking me out and just left and stayed with homies and then just was trapping ever since. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be like that, man. It'd be like that. I remember when I when I really when I officially realized what karma was. Um, this dude, so my man, my man Porter Rock was locked up with this dude. He comes home, plugs us up, and uh, you know Brody. I, I meet him to give him some shades. Like he wanted on the front street. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? You, fuck! I just met you, bro. I called my Porter. Rock, like, Yo, what the fuck is this dude talking about? Oh yeah, just give it to him. He's good, man. It's on you. Anything happens is on you, right? All right, say no more. Boom. We rocked for a little while. He beat me after a while, whatever, whatever. And it turned into some shit. It was like, it was beef, man. It was like some on-site beef. I don't know what was going to happen, but it was going to happen. And uh, we were living in the same hood, whatever, whatever. And uh, we wound up never seeing each other, but... Um, That's the same story. It's funny. But I remember one day, one day, it just hit me. I'm like, oh, shit. I called up Porter. I'm like, yo, son. Yo, you remember when we robbed, bro? I was like, how much money was it for? It was to the fucking penny oh, yeah. on how much we robbed him for. And this was in fucking high school. Oh, this yeah. is way later in life. This is like 10 years after high school. You come up on a $2,400 little That's lick, what I know. and then that you're going to get some. That's what I knew. Bills. I was like, I'm done with this shit. I'm yeah, sure. all the way good on be on <laughs> grimy shit, bro. For sure. And, the, and it's mathematical. It's an easier life. Like, uh, way easier. When I'm just and solid to people, yeah, like, mm-hmm. I don't need my pistol. Well, yes. in the beginning, also, you don't know you're going to be doing this shit forever. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Like, you're not thinking about your name and for in the streets in 10, and how, you know, years. exactly. You're going to be alive. No, I, bro, I had the you're reoccurring dream, the same dream every single day for fucking years that I was going to die at 26, opening my trunk, someone's going to blap me. Like, that's, I had the same, I dream, I swear to God, I lived that way. My mom knew, everybody, no one knew I was going to live past 26. No one thought I would. Yeah. Even to this day, my mom will say that Look shit. At you now. Make sure now I got kids and shit. Go I didn't day. plan, bro. I remember when day. I turned like 28 or 30, some you shit. Push that fucking I was like, down. I was like, bro, what am I? Gonna... I felt like I had just graduated high school. You know that feeling where you mm-hmm. don't know exactly what you're gonna do yet with life. But I'm 30. There's a difference, you know. I just I woke up one day and was like, damn, bro. I really have. Besides from this weed shit, I have no skills. I have my my resume is six months here, three months there. Like I. So you. So even like, yeah, if I try to bro. hop out this shit, what do I have besides I don't manage this shit this for life, bro? Yeah, we're in this for life. We're in this for life, man. I was 28, 29, and I was like, I can't sell weed forever, and I moved out. <laughs> yeah, dude. To be a comedian, like, because I have no skill. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, That's my backup plan. Like, Swear to God, is okay. I'm gonna be a comedian. That's what I tell my wife. The same shit. I was like, I'm not gonna be famous till I'm 40, though. I, I'm like, I'm going to sell weed until I'm like 40 until I can't sell weed no more. And then I'm going to use all the material and shit that I've seen. And I'm going to be famous Bro, at that point. What What do you know? What you both know? What all of us know, really? Um, and a lot of people I notice in this state don't know that do what we do is like how fucking valuable the information you know is. You know, whether it be about growing weed or building a brand or SOPs to grow weed or like. Whatever the fuck, bro. So you, you, bro. I said, say this. You way too far in the turnaround now, dog. So oh where yeah, are you I now? know nothing other than this. This is really. Model hips. When did it go? When did it go? Like, 
when did you start getting in? Yeah, yeah, 2000, about 2008. Yeah. I think it was 2008 or 2007. I'm gonna, I was still in high school when it when it hit because my homie, my older homie James and Ryan, that dude who had the big bags of weed, they got their clubs, their cards first. So they were t- coming up with all these flavors. And I remember the day I turned 18, the fucking day I turned 18, I was like me and I think one or two of my homies. We hit like four or five clubs because the first day you... First time you go, you get a little get free a little joint. Gift. Free joint, bro. I, my my homie was like, joint. "Dog, you have hella weed at home. Can we please stop? Can we please stop?" I'm like, <coughs> "I was hella juiced, like having it's a half fee at like the that. house." But yeah, you can. I'm like looking these stores that are nice. Like They're just different. I was just yeah. like, You're talking weed and my yeah. mind you, my yeah, whole, whole life, the whole vibe was crazy. my whole the whole life, my whole life. My mom's like, "You can't do this shit forever. You can't do this shit forever." So then, like, ah. medical pops up. Like, I start seeing stores, yeah. and I'm like. Uh, maybe I can. I'm like, this bitch might be wrong, <laughs> you know? Well, like, so when did Shatter Farm start? Because that, that was your first brand, right? Were yeah, no, yourself? I did that. I'll Tell get to that. Farms. So I, so basically, Trap did a whole bunch of stuff. Did and, I go too far? Yeah, you jumped a whole, okay, whole bunch sorry, of years. Sorry, we could do going. that. You were oh. on our way there. We were on our, we were on our way. We were on our way there. Keep going. We could skip. Where were we at? Don't skip. Don't skip. I thought that was next. Keep going. No, dude, I'm still like fucking 20 years old right now. We're going to get there for like eight more years. But yeah, uh, we start shipping shit out. I don't know where we're at, but at some point I start shipping stuff, allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Yeah, and we're doing good with that. Um, but everything's like Xbox Live. Like there was no Instagram. Yeah. That I can remember. Like so, trapping it was like Xbox Live. Yeah, we were trapping on Xbox Live. Like wow. we'd be burning or I talking about, about it, and other people would be like, "Where you at?" We we link like through there. And then they'd be like, send me some money, I'll send you some tree, or we'd meet halfway, you know, or whatever the case may be. That's how it really happened. Or, like, I remember towards the end of, like, senior year or, like, right after high school, you got, at least where we were at, we had, like, one of our homies' fly, uh, homies' uh, cousins move here from some other bumfuck-ass state, and oh, homies start trickling in from in, into your group from other places. Yeah. From Kentucky, you know, and all these places, and I'm like, bro, you're mine. my gold mine. Like, that's my guy. So yeah, my we guy. become best friends, and now yeah, we're just. Yeah. So I'm basically same thing with my my girl's brother. He was from Florida. I was breaking him off like two to four hundred a piece, just to, yeah. you know. And sure. we were doing that for a long fucking time, bro. This shit was sick. Nice. Yeah. So <laughs> just bro. Medical became, hey, and, uh, hey, yeah. good. Like, because we're us easier. down. Easier, bro, yeah, because easier. more people let, wanted let it. And, like, I think when I was, I had just graduated, like, I was pulling up to serve the daughter of the sheriff. I would serve him and the, or, and, and the wife. I'd serve all three of them. They'd all be smoking. But not the sheriff. No, the, the, sheriff, the sheriff, the daughter, smoke. the mom. They'd all be burning, bro. No shit. A lot of sheriffs out here smoke weed. Or, or so that's when I realized, damn, retired, like my mom's so tripping. Everybody smokes, like undercover. Everybody smokes, yeah. and then I mean, at some point, I realized that I think once I started smoking, we could double back a little bit. I realized my step pops had grow houses and was doing his thing, and so he put me up on a hell of a lot of game. I don't really want to get okay. into it because yeah, yeah. still, keep it, he's keep a civilian it now. Keep it so, it's all good. but we don't tell nobody on good pizza yeah. show. I'm but saying. he put me up on a whole lot of stuff too. Yeah. Like grow. He, yeah, he grow more so like how to carry yourself, how to how to act, like yeah, how to maneuver. He's from the high, he's from Highlands, like Watton A Street. That's where our whole family's from. Like oh, he's from A Street. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that whole area. Be driving through any neighborhood, and I swear, bums, anybody who's seen my pops, be like, what up? You know, they always showed him mad respect. And that's what I always wanted. I said, fuck yeah. the fucking school shit. Like, this shit's yeah. real, bro. Like, motherfucker can go anywhere and get, get taste that solo shit. dolo and could do whatever he wanted. I watched how he maneuvered. In our family, <clears throat> we're kind of going back, but when when I was coming up 14, 15 shit, I heard stories that he would he did his thing, right? Mm-hmm. I never saw it, but our family was like, once you turn 18, you can go to college or you can kind of do your thing. So my older cousin, he was doing his thing with my pops and was telling the stories and whatnot. And I always knew they had this rule, but he was my stepdad. And for some reason, when I turned like 14 or 15, he started to put me on to like, show me all the trap houses, like where, oh, where, where he might've, you know, done some things and all this crazy for shit. Sure, and I'm sure. seeing these places and I'm just, my eyes got hella big, you know? I'm like, we're pulling up the traps. Everything. We're pulling up the traps that are ghetto, like just, you know, just mad people. People were not where I'm from. Yeah, there yeah, 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 yeah. and so. be one other white cat and everyone's just like i don't know like 
yeah. the amount of respect these people, my you know, my pops and his friends sure. had in these sure. neighborhoods, I was just like, oh, I want that. Yeah, yeah, I want that. Yeah, because when you see somebody moving mean through a mean section of town, yeah, not being fucked with, you like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, but at the same yeah, time, he'd be that. like. Bro, if you uh, don't ever tell anyone you're my son, yeah, it's like that you, might get you in more trouble. Stuff. Yeah, than than you than, yeah, than not. Then protection, like, more trouble than yeah. protection. Yeah. And so I had all my oh, uncles shit. were in prison, telling me, you know, giving me game and all. Yeah. That's just how I came up. I, you were lucky so for that were, to get that guidance. You were like, for real. You were groomed very well. I was mad at you, but your dad. Yeah, but we were broke as fuck. So Without my stepdad, we were broke up until then, right? Yeah. So when they got married, when I was, you know, I don't know, 15, I think 14, 15, they finally got married. He like, you know, he now he's in the household. We got jet skis, we got boats, we got Escalades. Oh, we, now we in a two story house in the new neighborhood. Fuck, Fuck where I used to live. We in the new neighborhood, Let's even go. farther down. Right. You know what I mean? Just, and I'm like, okay, yeah. this motherfucker makes like 40K a year. Like I already know, I heard my mom say she makes way more than him. I'm like, but. What the fuck? I'm saying that, that don't look like 40K. Yeah, I'm like, bro. Yeah, I'm like, what do you do? <laughs> on paper. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 40, hey, I'll take a little 40K on paper any day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how kind of I came up, really. Like, I, I didn't know what that smell was until I started smoking, really. And I kind of put it all together. So you just can't trim. I cannot. Well, I can. Smoke it, break it up. But after about 45 minutes, like, I start getting mad fucking no itchy shit. and red and little dots wow. and shit. Yeah, I don't know what's up with it. Damn. It's like the live, the live plant. I don't know. Shit. It doesn't do well with me. Yeah. So I generally don't do any okay. harvesting or trimming. So then we're at... Yeah, go Shattered ahead. Farms. Shattered so Farms. now we go so to like, Shattered Farms. So this is kind of where I met you. Where yeah, yeah. So right before I met you, I had uh, I got off the deep end on some other shit and I ended up having to go to rehab and okay. all that stuff. So it's like three years out the game. Congratulations yeah, for your sir. recovery. Yeah, yeah. It's been shit yeah, since man. 2014. So good. So good. three years out the game. This puts us like 2017, 18, kind of around the time. Through, yeah, it's right around the time we met. No, you can get it. I don't care. Your, uh, drug Heroin, bro. Yeah. So back when high school, when I was on the meds, I, I was hurting things and they were prescribing me Norcos and all that shit. I think I was getting 180 Norcos and like a certain amount of Percocets like every month. And then when I turned 18, they're like, yeah, you can't do that no more. I was like, yo, I got me doped up. So I was selling Oxys and doing, I was always in the mix. But once, yeah, the, my, my plugs would die, Oxy dried up, like heroin was the only shit that was around. So Damn. that's everything. Every town yeah, yeah. across America, bro. Yeah, my story is always everybody's story, bro. Always, everybody's always. story. I got homies in the grave right now for that. Mm-hmm. And usually for Starts actual right there. pain. And a lot yeah. Of yeah. For actual pain at the yeah. Start, and then you yeah. Get- I would never do the shit I would sell. Like, I, did, I sold XC for like fucking three or four years before I ever touched it. Oxy the same three, four years. And then one day, I just, you know, I think it was that week I got kicked out of my house, all that shit. I was staying with my boy and. I think my knee was hurting or something, and he was like, bro, just take one of them things, bro. Why do you think everyone pays you so much money for them things? Oh, the I'm grave like, mistake. This. I'm like, all right. So there's yeah. little trigger events in your life you could think back on, like, that's where it all went left. Yeah, I remember before football games, like, I was eating, like, two Percocets and, like, a, some shit. I was eating, like, a handful of pills Ooh. before I would have to go on the field. Oh, like, that's wild, bro. My doctors would tell me if I took another hit in the right way, I'd be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Really? Like, I was the first case study in Placer County for uh, concussions. Oh, so. maybe because you couldn't feel it while you was out there rocking. Exactly. Got it. So got I, it. when they have this new concussion shit, you see that movie with... Anyway, they got this new technology CT shit. I was the very first person in Placer County to go through that. So they would, like, make me take Damn, all these cuss. tests on the fucking computer... And then I'd get busted up on the field and they'd come in and make me redo these tests and they'd like crunch some numbers and be like, all right, you got to take seven to 10 days off or some shit, right? I'd be oh, first shit. day back out on the field, get hit, be fucked Fucking off again, bro. I lost like half my senior year due to concussions. Jeez. And like every doctor would be like, you can't, you can't play anymore. I'm like, man, I got a game Friday. You're just tripping. Fuck like, out of here. You're out of here. Like that was my, t- I thought that was my ticket out. Like, yeah. It was that or selling, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like 6'2", sure, yeah, 240 with a 4840 yeah, we all had outside kind of linebacker, linebacker, you know? Like, I was going to be good. Damn, dude. Yeah, and I only, yeah, I was, you know, I could have. Like, I remember playing at summer camps with Colin Kaepernick, shit like that. Re- get the fuck Arena. Out of here. No Yeah, we get man. invited. We, you had to be invited to go to these camps. Like, I played with Colin Kaepernick at University of Reno. 
You know what I mean? Oh, shit, man. So, but That's at cool. the same time, it'd be like baseball, football, whatever. I'd have my bag of gear, but I'd also, I always had shit on me. Like, I'd be in the right. back. I'd be in, I swear to God, in the fucking dugout. My bat bag would have shit on me. It would be full of pills, weed, whatever. Like, mm -hmm. it wasn't a bat bag no more. It to be made. Yeah. I was making it. For real. And so it, it, it became no to a point once I was realizing like I couldn't, I didn't have the, the enough money and time and skills to really go that route. So it was just like fuck it, like stop doing it, fuck it. So when you start getting getting down with the sessions, you know what I'm saying? Shatter farm. So three Get years of uh, being clean and sober, all that shit, right? right? I get a call from my cousin and. I already knew him and his boys. They were growing indoors, and I knew their whole like get down their whole fam. They were, they were robbing hell of fools too, and but they were robbing on a way crazier scale, like whole farms, like they're crazy. So then anyway, long story short, they wanted me to grow for them up in like Clear Lake, and the deal was they were gonna like pay my my bills, like my rent while I was gone, bring me smoke, bring me food, like take care of me the whole nine yards. I was like, sure, why not? Why not? I, I, yeah, I, I wasn't smoking weed or anything at the time. But uh, I think right before that, I had got hurt at work. I was doing some, like, flooring gig for a while, and then I got hurt. I hurt my back, and so I was. Uh, my wife was like, you basically need to either go next door and buy some weed and start smoking, or you need to go get some back on your pills because I couldn't tie my own shoes. So I'm on probation, I think, at this point, buying weed. I think the other day you were asking about what my my nervous weed story was. Yeah, yeah. Like I smoked weed my whole life, but it was when no, I when first you started. Out. Yeah, I was bugging out the first few days when I, my wife would make me smoke tree. I would get a ten sack from my neighbor, like a point eight, and I'd roll that point up, paint it in the little tiny ass swisher, smoke one or two hits off yeah. that bitch, and it would ruin my day. Yeah, I'd be out there. It's like preparation I haven't been by in four or five years. You know, I'm out there like they're coming. They're coming. They would come. They would come. They would come, of course. And I'm just fucking in my head, just <laughs> lights out in my room, tripping. That first week or two was probably the most uncomfortable. This is when you came back from me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is like years being clean. Like, was the pain better? The pain was better. I started getting more mobile and shit. Because with the weed? With the weed, yeah. But, but, Psyche. But the psycho, yeah, my the psych, the what the it, psyche was what it did, stuff. yeah, I, it was it was almost too much. Like I've done a lot of different drugs in my life, but but being clean for three fucking years and then take smoking a little bit of weed, that shit fucks you up, man. I'm oh, not yeah, gonna lie, dude, especially how good the weed is out here. It, bro, especially you if you're on out. probation, Doug. That shit'll have yeah, you tweaking. Yeah, because you're thinking like, about yeah, the bad stuff. Yeah, I'm like, I got a fucking, I got I had three and a half year kicker at that point. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to go back for smoking some stupid weed. You can't like, even enjoy the high, bro. No, no, <laughs> it was like hide. It was hide in my house, high. Like, I didn't like that shit. But yeah, eventually it got better, and then I went out and did that farm thing, and um, it was like the one I was on. It was all well, I was managing that one, but then they had like other shit in that same little valley. And it wasn't shatter farms at first. It was shattered farms because that's we splintered out like hella different ways, right? Okay. And I was just bored in a trailer, had nothing else to do. So I got Instagram for the first time and was like, yeah, we're I'm shattered farms, like because I was having to take care of sometimes other shit, you know. I, yeah. I was like, as a group, that's where my mindset was at, right? And so I got like 20% of the cut. And I never thought about how the fuck I'm gonna make my money because I hadn't sold weed in all these years. I'm like, fuck. Mind you. So you're getting paid at work, not bread? Yeah, I got paid at work. And mind you, after the very first month of me being up there, they didn't they stopped paying my rent. So they my rent got paid month one, right? And it was supposed to be four months. It was seven months. <clears throat> so I got a call six months in of, of not paying my bills. My landlord's dope for this. I still got the same landlord because of this. He called me after six months of no touching base. He was like, hey, um, you owe me like six months of rent. Like are you gonna be able to square that away soon? Oh. Like, yeah, bro. I'm like, I'm on this job. Why do you say that? I'm gonna be home next month. He doesn't know I sell weed. He, he no. thinks I'm like, I do flooring. Like, I tell him I do flooring every, yeah. all across, you know, because I have <laughs> done some crazy flooring, like car events, and I do be traveling for that shit. But like, yeah. This, what, man. this wasn't that. That wasn't that. This so wasn't I told that. him I was on a job for the, like six months and they don't pay us till it's over type of shit. And I'm yeah. just about to be done. And I remember, I think I got like, I snagged like two or three peas. I was just like, y'all can take it off my back end, but I, they were like not trying to relieve my, they weren't relieving me. They weren't paying me. They didn't want me to go. 
They weren't giving me gas. Like I was taking fucking dude, the last nickels and dimes I had in my car ashtray oh. walking up and going cause my car broke down, you know, I, it was the worst experience, but like yep. the last two months, it was like, I was in a, ready to give up and just go home. Mm -hmm. But, and my girl wanted me to go home and they're like, you can go home for 5%. You'll get 5%. We'll let you know when it's done. Yeah. I was like, dude, so I just survived fucking four or five months of ass. That's like fucking... naked and afraid and you're leaving like the last. Yeah, day. we'll give, you know, you can make a million if you go yeah, another couple of weeks, but if you stay, you know, we'll give a hundred grand or something. You know what it was yeah, like? No, you got one go, of those, it wasn't go. even close to that number, but it was one of those things where like, it was just disrespectful. Like, I was like, yeah, that was fuck a disrespectful you, number. you could have said I was 15, out here struggling with no 12. AC, no. No running water, no roughing it on yeah, 33 you're, acres, you're dog. Like, place, bro. come on now. Shit was fucking terrible. I ain't gonna lie, but yeah. So I, so I that's took, where the name came from, Shattered Farm. Shattered Farm. So I went home and I called my agent homie. I think I, one of the dudes I always done business with forever. He's yeah. like the only cat I knew. I think I sold a couple pounds to him, and a pound or two to someone else. I think I sold three or four pounds, paid that debt or most of that debt, came back, suffered another month or two of fucking hell, waiting for that weed to dry because. You can only fit so much weed in a storing store a storage container. Yeah. And we if you harvest two hundred pounds, that's like two rotations. So that's like another six fucking weeks. Oh you know what I mean? Of rain and that's rain mud season up there. Like the later you get yeah. the season, this is the same year yeah. as the big fire happened up up that way in uh Santa Rosa. Oh, so Santa like Rosa our fire. yeah, so yeah, our shipping was, container yeah. showed up like six weeks late because of their fires oh and all this God, shit. So bro. There's smoke. Did we get I, I went. Oh yeah, bro. Oh, bro, it, it, no, it didn't get ruined. Whoa, it was one of those God. things that they're like, if it, if this, if the, if the when smoke stays out in this the valley. Fuck that was dog as an East Coast cat. When I figured out, just not can't fire Kush. Can't fire Kush. When I figured out what the fuck that was, I was so mad, bro. I, I was mad at y'all for a little while, man, and I was out here, but I'm mad at y'all for me from back in the day. You can't fire Kush. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah, that shit happens. We had, I've had neighbors light their fields on fire, like right along my weed before, just to say fuck you. Like, yeah, they shot an ash on my plants. Me and Cali Grower, we had our neighbor do that one time, just for no. He's just an old man. I think he just lost his mind. Just lit the yeah, whole field along our, along our fence line where all of our weed was on fire. And I was, just, yeah, it was terrible. One of those years. That's not good pizza. So no. you made it uh, the last two months. You... So we, yeah, we. So anyways, yeah, we. You, you we made fought it. our way through. We made it. We go home. I go home, not we, but um, water. So let's say I have like 20 peas and I made it a point to these guys because I didn't want them to fuck me. I was like, I want 20%. They had a bunch of different flavors. And I was like, they're going to stick me with all the booth. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, I want 20% of every fucking plant. Right? Yeah. So my, my dumb ass don't go home with a single fucking pound of anything. 20 p because they had a bunch of different flavors and phenos so i didn't go home with not oh. shit for pounds i had hella breakdown bro oh Fucking my God, 20 dude. p's of breakdown and then the deal was i could take all the trim so i had like 100 pounds of trim and so at the time like i was following instagram i like linked up with this dude he ran all that trim Blast it for you all right. For like months, that shit fed me. Fuck the weed. That shit fed me. The trim fed me Yo, more than anything. When I um, met you, dog, I thought Shattered Farms, man, Shattered like. I'll get to that. So what, my very first show, I was at the Eleven Thirty Club. I think it was my first like within my first show or two. The the people come around with clipboards and they're like, "What's your name? What's your name?" Right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, Shattered Farms. They're like, oh, "Okay, sh Shattered Farms. Like, cool." And I'm like, "No, it's Shattered Farms. Like with the ED." They're like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> right? You know," and like. The people would come up and always be like, oh, sh that's tight. And I'm like, no, it's shattered. Like, oh, oh. You know, like, <laughs> I'd be like correcting them and they're saying and a they don't cooler like it. name. They're like, no, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I like the one I made for you. Yeah. Just so, like, the second time she came around, it was like, Shattered Farms? That's I'm great. like, no, no, Shattered. We'll go with Shattered. Like, change the name, went on my Instagram, dropped the ED, changed it to Shattered. Oh, like, shit. That's Shout it. out 1130 Club. For yeah. Change your name up. For sure. It. Shout out. Making popular. I thought I was correcting them, and they was correcting they was, Yeah, right? They're like, no, the son. Out of me. They're like, this makes more sense. I'm oh, like, all right. Like, I was going to tell you my whole life story about why we're. And Let's they're not like, give them that story you just gave us. Yeah, up. and like, so now I'm like, they're like, where's your shot through for this fucking name? But yeah, it's so I'm like, my first sessions though, my my wax hasn't came in yet. I got flower, right? <laughs> I got flower. They're like, where's your shatter? I'm like, what is shatter, dog? So <laughs> I'm like, I'm behind. Well, I'm way behind. I'm three years out Yo, the game, really not really knowing was? shit. No, not really, oh. bro. Like, no, I know the home. Me and the homies, like, we're we knew people were making wax. But you like, know that I, was I called got, I got a manufacturing charge in like 2000. 
like fucking 12 or 14 for okay. making bho so like i know the get down okay like, yeah, yeah i was gonna you say know? what yeah, but it was still about goo. yeah it was goo it was just we are we using pizza ovens bro like yeah. now these fools got all types of machines and shit i was yeah. open blasting and then going to my backyard and like zzz, 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 turning up the i'd be sleeping ding, go out there and i did that for like two days you scrape it and it got to like solid enough for you to put it in a jar and you shit <laughs> a thousand bucks a yeah, pp bro, bro. I can make, I could produce like a half that a week. dark as fuck, huh? Oh, dude. Yeah. Most of the time. Sometimes, like, if it was hella yellow, you're like, yeah, we're right. <laughs> 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 like, do what do we do? What do we do? It was like, uh, how do we do it? Yeah. Fuck, man. No we idea. No fucking clue Damn, back bro. then. That's, a, that's amazing. So then when, it, so boom, you were Shatter Farms, you rock, and that's where I met you. We met at, we yeah. met at Orbit That's what I was wondering. I wanted to ask Gold. you, was that? Was we it the Orbit, Orbit show? show? It's me and my wife and you and your wife. That's right. She, you, she was pregnant with your second daughter. I was wondering if it was the daddy O's one where he was dropping coals along the... Remember when he was... He, I don't know if you were there. He was dropping coals all the way along this, like, these farmland <laughs> it roads. It caught on fire, right? To the horse, yeah. And, like, every... There's, like, every, like, yeah, 50 there. to 100 yards of a small that. brush fire. Bro. <laughs> this fool's rolling in with, like, a... 30 foot grill Yo. on the back of his truck rolling in hot dropping hot coals out the back of it right lighting fires Yo, everywhere like what too yeah i'm bro i'm, I'm like dumping there. water bottles and shit it's on fire right it's me my wife my home like and, nightmare. and the shit's on fire and the police are there I'm like, oh no jose, yeah. yeah i think it was that one of daddy up yeah. it was jose, jose and was right daddy right smoke yeah. smoke was doing jose. i don't know if it's the same one but it was definitely on fire yeah, yeah. it was off elk one i think anyway but the whole time there i'm like driving i'm like Man, you see that? That's crazy. There's hella smoke over there. It looks like where we're going. Like for like 30 minutes. I'm like, damn, it looks right. Where... And then we pull up. Yeah. And there's smoke in the entryway yeah, of it was this definitely huge. Same one. There's we're late. Yes. Yeah, and way. there's hella people there, and we're the only one who noticed that this shit's on fire. And so I'm like taking all the water bottles and shit for like we were gonna drink during the session, and I'm fucking pouring it out. And I'm like, oh my God. finally Jose runs over, and all those guys run over. I'm like, how do you guys not notice this huge pile? Like. I was seeing this stuff for like 20 miles. Like, where, where were you at? No one happened to drive through that whole time. Damn. It's weird. That's crazy. But yeah, so the Shattered Farms, that was cool for a bit. Yeah, man. And then uh, Turkey Bag Tom. Turkey Bag Tom, Toasted Cannabis. What, what, how did that come about? What are you in terms uh, of your, your brand and your career? And Because that's what you're rocking now. Turkey Bag Tom. Yeah, the uh, the Shatter Farms, bro, is really just, I was trying to off the weed I had. And once I, I think I made like seven grand, my first like seven grand the first week, yeah. I was like, I told my, the homies who told me about the show, I was like, I appreciate it though, thank you. Like, I need that money. They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm done. Like, I'm, I got my little, they're like, no, you gotta keep going, keep going. So eventually, I thank God they said that, but yeah, made a career oh, out of this shit. Yeah, I was about oh, to just stop, yeah. Well, I met you, it just seemed like that's what you did, man. You and wifey had a nice little setup. It got to that point, yeah. It's like you're coming back to the game. Yeah, oh, I was trying cool. to just get enough money to regroup, pay off my bills, and figure out what the fuck I was gonna do next. No, and I'm then sure. I like, my homie made this wax, started getting shattered, so then I had dummy shatter, and that's what really put me through. Like, that's what kept me fed for a real long time, okay. and I realized that like, okay, I can go buy 10 pounds of shatter, <laughs> or 10 pounds of trim, for like five to 800 bucks, and then I'm gonna get like damn near a P or more, a shatter back. I'm gonna sell it for $20 a gram. I'm like eight. So I was turning four or five, eight hundred dollars into to fucking 10 grand sometime. Cause you nice. $20 a gram, you're getting 500 grams back. Fuck, it's easy yeah. money, bro. So yeah, that's. Shatter used to fly. Bro. Yeah, so that so flower kind of went out the window. It was just shatter. Friend, yeah like, fuck yeah bro i just went through the worst part of my life struggling bro like no lie that was the worst time like no money to get to yeah. for food and i had a dog the whole time up there like me and me and him three, splitting uh, cans of beans and shit you're talking about the three years sober <laughs> three years sober i was doing hardwood floors i was fine i was getting by but like once i i went through those seven months of like oh, right. that I'm shit farm, yeah right. Yeah. So I've had hella knee surgeries. So doing hardwood floors for hundred dollars a day was it was like it sucked. But with a criminal record, that was all I could. I couldn't get a job at the gas station. I couldn't get a job nowhere, bro. I had a, a felony. Oh, enough for nothing. You had a wild record. Yeah, I do have yeah, a wild, you had a wild record. record. <laughs> Is yeah. You have a wild record. <laughs> <laughs> for nothing. When I when I like when we got the gnome and shit, we started trading war stories and like, damn, cause you got here for some shit. Yeah, so shit. yeah, I was Gee. told next time I get caught with a trigger, whether it be of a bow and arrow or a gun, I'm getting 16 years plus whatever the fuck I get in trouble for. Damn. So. 
Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I got that. So, so yeah. the only reason that I brought that up, because yeah. I'm sure you looked at the sessions like, oh, these are a godsend. They were a godsend. Back in the game. Hell yeah, the bro. Way, I could well, because I had heard like about them. Mm -hmm. I could just run. Most like, definitely. Because I was like, I only need in. like 20 or 50 of these fools to, to buy somewhat consistently. Yeah. And like, I could feed my family. It's right. never been, I want to get rich. Right. Never. It's like, I used to grind it out. And even when I was on the sober hype, right. I was making $100 a day and killing myself. Yeah. Like, I wasn't supposed to be on my knees. I'm about to have a full re reconstruction, like what dudes get when they're 60 or 70. I'm about to get that, like, this mm. year. Yeah. I'm putting off till after I harvest this first new round, right? So, yeah. yeah, if I can make a little buck and not have to do some strenuous ass shit. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Bro, for and, sure. like, pay for my kids to eat and all that shit. Like, weed's the best thing. Like, it's a godsend, bro. Like, my mom used to say I could never do this shit for the rest of my life. Like, the day I can't go like this and, like, water some plants, I'm like, I'm going to be too old. I'll be probably be shitting myself at that point. Like, yeah. probably just need to take me to the woods anyway. Just pay a little, if pay I can't run stuff. a little fucking 40 by 100 greenhouse on my 10 acres up in Chasta, I don't want to be here anyways. Like, yeah, 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 right. Like, so that's, that's kind of how it is. Yeah, I've that's already bought the property. Like, it's exactly. already ready. Oh, no shit. Yeah. And thinking nice. about moms Yo, like you're standing across the table. Every time I go to, like, say, Grass Valley and go to one of my friend's farms, bro, I'll just sit there and just just take it in for a second. Then, then I'm like, fuck, bro, I can do this, man. Mm -hmm. I can just, this is probably where I'm going to end up, in these woods somewhere, just with my plants. You know what I mean? My brand and my family. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, thank God. One day, me and my me and my real dad, we end up reconnecting and getting he's everything good. Me? He's out, uh, well, he's upstate now. Like upstate? The, okay. Some one of them, like, 200-year-old houses, like, with hell of acres and whatnot. Oh, nice. He's been redoing that one. But, um, where's I going with that? Oh no, but that's yeah, studio cooking up. Oh, reconnecting my pops <laughs> yeah. and like so what he was doing was um selling rural land, like big chunks of land. He was able to wiggle his way. He's a, he's a, like he's just like a hustler like I, like yeah. me. My real dad is, but he's kind of he's like he don't pay his taxes, like that type of sleep sure. all type of shit. But somehow he's <laughs> able to like <laughs> he's able to like wiggle his way into these property deals where like if I give you X amount down in this much a month, I get to like hold the title, the note for me. This is basically my shit. And then he'll like resell the shit for more down and more month on a longer year contract. And he does that. He's been doing that for, duh. Whoa. He's been doing that for a long time, bro. Like Damn. 15 years, right? And so this property I bought off my dad, he's already sold it like six other times. He puts it into his fucking contract. If you don't pay him, He's gonna take that shit back regardless of what right. you put into right. it. So he's just so he's flipped property. this shit so many times, but like you sure it's gonna be there? Oh, I already bought it. Okay. Yeah, no, when it, I've seen him from when I was like fifteen. Okay, gotcha. Take this gotcha. shit back all the way, like you know what I mean? Gotcha. I've heard about gotcha. this property in Shasta my whole like for Have a long you been there? time. Yeah, I've been there. Okay. So I'm like one day he was like, Yeah, I got that property back. This was just like a year, maybe a year and a half ago. I was like, fuck, bro. I want it. It was always that house that he was going to put a cabin yeah. on and retire, but now he's out in New York. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll, nice. I'll put a cabin on that bitch and retire. Put a 100-foot greenhouse on that shit. Man, I mean, cut a little That's indoor nice. spot, and I'm good. Like, what? Yeah, it was like 50K. So we worked out a deal. And I'm not. Mine, dude. <clears throat> so. Yeah, man. Upstate New York's beautiful. Chefs yeah, bro. It was the biggest accomplishment. Yeah. accomplishment. I get down on myself, beautiful. but like these last few years, I've been able to put some money away through some stocks. I like bought, got a property, got the wifey a new whip. Grown like, man shit, bro. Grown man shit. Good and this, doing shit that like my mom, you know, everyone always said you could never do. Yeah, I'm, feels I'm, good, doesn't it? Yeah, out yeah. living, I should, sometimes, living longer than hey, I ever thought I would. Look, like, man, sometimes you need, you know, you always need a why, right? Mm -hmm. To do why we do what we do, which is going to be my next question. Kids. Your why, why do you do it? Of course your kids. Okay. But sometimes my mentor taught me Shout out my mentor, Aaron Burr. Sometimes you need a who. Who told you you couldn't do it so you could prove wrong? Shit, you know what I'm mom, saying? Bro, it's all Because really, you could. I mean, it could be your moms. It could be My whoever. mom's and my real dad, really. Yeah, it's like my, is. imagine, don't, don't imagine like getting in trouble for doing shit. The same shit you're, you know your stepdad's doing. That's paying be. the bills, right? Like, it's the most confusing shit. Your mom's going to ground you, steal your stash, and get you in trouble. Your dad's literally, your stepdad's literally taking it and selling it. And giving her the money back. Every time I ever went to jail, my stepdad came up on guns and dope and all types of shit. Right. Swear to God. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, and then I got my mom bitching. I'm like, how, look at all the shit you got. I'm just doing the same thing what I know how to do. Yeah. Why are you tripping? 
So you know, like it's your kid. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I get it. Yeah, I don't want. I yeah, <laughs> my older. In regards to what I do, I don't want them doing it this early. No. You know, yeah. Kids like be what I didn't. Get I yeah, <laughs> for real. I wish I had got to have be that like. Mm. Yeah. Because I feel like yeah, I never got that chance, and then by the yeah. time I was like twenty twenty one, I was already having kids and shit. So. Is that your why? Is that your kids? Your why? Why? My you why, why? Honestly, you honestly, to be honest, it's the why right? is the my legacy honestly okay it's like the why than, is bigger than right now I, it's, yeah it's, it's when it's what my family thinks of me my kids think of me what the people around me think of me what i yeah. do it's like i'm you may not see me living the best life but like i can That's tell you i can tell you a you dozen is, families so. who i physically put food on their table like yeah. without me they wouldn't be living where they're at they wouldn't be able to survive like that's the type of shit i thrive on yeah like that's my best thing, friend though. lost three of his houses, fucking all of his properties that he owned on one street burned down, living in a trailer, has nothing. Most people's debt's going for three, four hundred. Guess what? He's getting a yeah. thousand. Every single one I'm giving him a thousand for yeah, all yeah, year, one. bro. I don't even have to make no money. I just have to make sure that someone's going to pay a thousand somewhere. I'm going to make sure I get it there. Yeah, man. The homie gets paid. When he gets a house, I'll revisit the numbers, but like, yeah. I'm living in, a, I got a roof and he's got, He's got a kid on the way. Yeah, but you know that shit I mean? comes it's back like, to you, bro. That shit comes back to you. And that's honestly that's, that's your two. That's your two a.m. flat. That's tire what bed. I do. That's what you can call it two a.m. That's, that's why I do it, bro. I do the shit the that most people you, wouldn't do in yeah. case I find myself in that yeah, position. Man. So hoping that, bro, it, or if I for God ever, you know, for some every reason, if I leave this earth early, yeah. I'm gonna hope that like the people your I do good. business with and have done business with, they're gonna continue to work with my wife or drop off some bread and remember all that yeah. little shit like because i know my ballers they're making money what's a thousand dollars to them exactly. or 500 here and there i know my wife's gonna be set if i do right you exactly. know what i mean like that's that's what i do really like yeah. that's what i do at my kids obviously that pay the bills but my legacy and just making sure whatever i do i just i just want someone to do make sure that I, you know I, it comes on back that, to me you know i dig that that's a good why. I don't. I don't lie, and I think you know this. I Let don't. Me, I don't lie. No, I don't. Dude, man, you're standing. There's dude. no reason to lie because that shit will get me, you. Let bro. me ask you this: If you could go back in time and and ask yourself, tell your younger self something right before you jumped in the game, what would that advice be? Knowing everything you know now, man, I would have probably just done my damn homework. To be real, gone to school, got better grades. So you would have said, I would have do the book smarts with the street smarts. I would have never jumped in this shit, bro. Oh, you just never jumped in? No, oh. the amount of shit that I've gone through, you don't okay. realize, like, okay. no. Fuck no. Okay. Fuck no. Like, okay. That's fair. I, that's fair. I wish, fair. I wish, okay. that's you fair. Some of the, like, athletics he had. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like put it this way, I can't, t I can't coach my daughter's softball team to this day. Like, I'm a son. Oh, I can't no, do nothing. Not do I can't that. do nothing. Yeah. So, like, if I could take it all back, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I'm limited. I'm only here because I have to be. Like when Marshawn Lynch was yeah. talking about, like I'm here so I don't get fined or whatever. Like I'm only here because I can't be anywhere else. <laughs> right, you know right, what right. I mean? Like I've gotten a warm, open, well, like warm welcome. Well, we, we love that you're here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're a good, good contribution to the game in the local Sacramento and Northern California economy. You know and awesome saying? fucking success story. It's a great success story. Like, you know how many people's people lives you're gonna change with this story? Like there's yes. people that are fucked up there's and, and got some hope now. Yeah, because of what you've been through. Yeah, you're bro. Right yeah, With bro. All absolutely. The shit that For you real. Done got yourself into and out of over yeah. the years and, and yeah, got man. caught and not, you know, and bro, I've been shot and be out facing out 12 and a half years. Facing, like, yes. You know, facing 12 and a half years, I went through going through court, going through all that, getting. I, get, I fought it. I got a year and a half. Yeah. I got my, my little, whatchamacallit, uh, work project. Right. You know, I got five years probation with a three and a half year kicker. Yes. You know, I got caught yeah, with guns after that. I got so caught so with shit after that. You know yeah. what I mean? Nothing ever really. Yeah. You know. You got lucky. Well, look, you got lucky, and, and, and you ran, the, you ran the tricky with part it. is, I know a lot blessings. of people like, like I know you, a bunch of other people have, like, they've moved here or they're like, I've been in the same spot my whole life. Like, yeah. if I had been up to some fuckery or not on my shit, like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here. Yeah, you never know. So I'm just trying know. to do right. To be able to stabilize your life. Yeah. And um, see He's, the bigger picture. Yeah. And, if, you know, whenever that happens, fucking, at least it got to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of niggas get 
regrets in the penitentiary for right, for real. a lot of the shit and got to eat them. <clears throat> Dude, I got blessed and lucky. Your kids, still working in the plant you love, mm-hmm. raise, running a successful business. I should be in prison or dead. So like every day above ground, like yeah, it's a good day. It's a good hey, day. I get, we'll you woke up, I would say, hey, man, it's a good day if you woke up on the right side of the dirt. Absolutely. That's a good start day. So now look, we're going to get some questions a little lighter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I feel like the guests would want to know. So, uh, I see a dab right Yeah, we yeah, can get no. that going. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout oh, out to Rackham's, man. High we got some fire ass. We got some cam- fire ass. Camera right there? Yeah, yeah Rackham's, we need Rackham's. you on the show, Brody. Yeah, he should be on there for sure. Um, so check this out. If you had a, uh, oh no, how do you, you like to use or consume cannabis? What's your twist? Like what, joints, blunts, dabs? What's your, like, what's your Sounds- favorite? Since I, me and you started talking a lot re- more recently, yeah. seen you on the joints, bro. Been on joints. I joints. Okay. You see me pull up. I don't even have no papers. But like, I'm on the yeah, OCBs, the what's some other shit. The rip called? tips, elements, elements. The rip OCBs. tips. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. that's really all. Like trying nice. to be more connoisseur and uh, honestly, just tired of coughing up a lung, dude. Yeah, bro. You gotta let the blunts go sooner or later. Yeah, you, you have a good run. Dude, you have fun with the blunts, and you just gotta go to the papes, man. Yeah, and then like. Buying the blunts and three out of the fives being fucking duds and yeah. shit not working, spending all that money, lot. going back to the store. <clears throat> it's just tiresome, dude. I'd rather spend two dollars and know that every single paper is gonna be straight. Yeah, bro. So if you had a weed superpower, what would it be? It could be anything in the world. Man. A lot of people just say, I want I can make more weed. Um, I heard a good one I recently. Said, uh, what did, uh, every time I take a hit, it tastes like the first hit. Of yeah. the bowl, mm. which is a good one. That's a damn good one. Uh, friendly shit, bro. I would look and be able to tell the yield of that <laughs> by looking at Shots from friendly funds. If I could change <laughs> anything, to be honest, <clears throat> yeah. it was it would be somehow the moisture content. Like, if you're a trapper, you know that shit gets dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so then like nice your profits are dried up and crumbly. Yeah, yeah, yeah how the yeah, fuck yeah. are you gonna keep that Ooh, that's shit a good fresh, one. bro? Turkey bag like that's turkey really, I want that's why fresh. Bag Tom. I just want the freshest weed that's every a turkey day. Bag Tom, man. I want to open my bag every day to be in the same bag, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On its freshest on its day, freshest before day. the decline. Yes. Yeah, Thank I feel you. that. I like that. So let's talk about weed etiquette. What's your pet peeve? What's your can? What you can't stand about when somebody does when you're smoking or you're in a cipher or whatever? Ooh. Uh, with the joints, with really anything, anything. they'd be anything, fucking yeah. ch- chugging that too hard, like ripping them things too hard, and that's what creates those big old. You end up it getting like a run. You know, a huge run, yeah. and they hand it back to you like, here, something's wrong with it. Like, yeah, no shit, <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, you just How beat you... the shit out of my joint. What's the problem? What are you doing? Like, bad fucking yeah, day. bro, take a small like taper it in your mouth piece. and hit it like I don't know. Like I, I've done some research on like cigars. Yeah, like, how you're supposed to hit cigars and. Yeah, you're supposed to let them rest for like 30 to 40 seconds. That's what we do with the joints you... now, man. It's yeah, a man, thing, man. We just evolved, rapid fire man. and then wonder why their mouth's on fire. Like, right. I, and, that and was a hot hit. I didn't like, like it. It's like because you're just fucking. You're just murdering that thing. Let it chill for a second. So probably that or or leaving <clears> a bunch like of residue, one. bunch of mouth residue on yeah. on the blunt. Yeah, that's not cool. Um, I like that. Yeah, it's a new one. It's a new one. Yeah, I hate that shit coming back wet. <clears throat> What's your favorite place to smoke, man? You got a favorite place, like a sacred spot, or just wherever? The garage, the shitter? Mm, it's always my house. I know people in don't the house? like that shit, but yeah, in my no, house. Bro, there's no wrong answer. I'm curious. Definitely in my house, yeah, yeah. where I'm on my couch, chilling. Fuck no. Yeah. How many times have you really ever smoked on the beach and it went successfully? That shit's it's, windy it's as really fuck. Windy. The you ain't doing the nothing perfect. there. You can't get a better view. Yeah. But the quality of the smoke, don't matter what. The idea smoke is, is always better than the actual experience. Man. I guarantee yeah, you that. Always, you, unless you live there and you like, you know, run out there real quick and then you know it's hella nice ass weather or some shit, but you're at the beach. It's always windy. You know what's like, funny? Only where that's when I- like a backwood or those. Yeah, you have to yeah, be a backwood. Bro, you have yeah. to pre-roll that shit yeah. in your car pri- prior to going out there. Let it sit in you the can't sun roll it out there. On the motherfucker. You're going to get sandy. Yeah, while no. while dry you got to bring the Ziploc bags. You, know you got to like make sure that goes in your girl's purse on top and don't get squished. Yeah. And then when you do get it, it's squished no matter what. It's no matter what. <laughs> yeah, you're going out there with a flat blunt. With a, like, with a, 
<laughs> this is just not a good experience. Flat blood, like same thing with oh, hikes, man. like smoke and then go on a hike. Don't go on a hike and then smoke because that shit. You're, nine times out of ten, it's gonna be broken or flat or yeah, or sweaty. Sh- something's sweaty. gonna be wrong with it by the time you get. <laughs> or to Or smoke you're while you're hiking. I used to do that. It's dumb, bro. You gotta get it together. You gotta relax. <laughs> oh, yo. So there's nothing more nostalgic about the first time, right? Yeah. Talking about the first time smoking weed or the, your first time getting high. If you didn't get high your first time, sometimes <laughs> you don't. No, Not yeah. Not even stems. You know that for sure. That was t- that was Turkey Bag Tom's first edible stems. Yeah. So like my pops, my step pops, he had this little like closet thing inside his closet that was always locked. It didn't have a handle on it. it just had a little, like, a little lock part. You could okay. put a key. And like I heard stories, and my brother, my older brother, would tell me that like sometimes there's weed or money in there. And one time we went in there and we like picked the lock on his main door. We go in that in the closet and there's like, you can't get in that little door. But there was enough crumbs and little buds on that on the carpet to know there's hella weed in that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we just picked all the little buds off the carpet and roll. My brother rolls pinners to this day. He's like the best pinner roller ever. Like that yeah. motherfucker could roll a bill on that. And that shit yeah, smoked too, and that's right? Smoking, bro. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah. He always did that Hell shit. Yeah. So. Shout out to my brother. But anyway, yeah, we go, it was like him. We had this dude. That he was like, we called him our cousin. He lived at our house damn near. Right, right. He's but he cousin. wasn't. He's no longer a cousin. Of full. Anyways, but he, he was probably. with us. And uh, we went out in the backyard, smoked. And I got so high that I had a shower like twice. And then I started Ooh. tripping about the backyard smelling like weed. Because <laughs> we had a backyard with like an overhang and it had carpet and like yeah, couches oh, and shit. Tripping. Like it was nice. Yeah, it sounds great. But I'm thinking that the Didn't fucking carpet, I don't know, but I thought the carpet and the couches maybe got weed smoke on them. Right, right, right. So I'm running around for breeze in my backyard. <laughs> and my brother's just Make dying laughing like, crazy. what the fuck are you doing, bro? You're right. fine. You're a fucking rookie. You're, you know, make hell make fun of me. And they're playing video games and I'm... <laughs> you know, like tri- mom's gonna know. Mom's gonna know. They're like, go, if Joe, chill. If you open your mouth, mom's gonna know. Like, don't say anything. Don't say nothing. Yeah, Damn, I don't. Bro. Yeah. Were your parents cool with it? I mean, they weren't cool with it, but they kind of knew. Like, I mean, we're 14, 15 years old, stealing liquor out their cabinets. Like, yeah. Did you still replace it with water? A little no, bit? no, I just not replace it, bro. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> Yo, we used to get busted. I would try and erase the line and then remark their line. They put the line? Yeah. They yeah. The line. yeah. See, they would put the line, but we put the fucking, we put water in it. But when sometimes they put my mom's put vodka in the freezer. Yeah. And if that see, bitch started freezing, we got popped. Yeah, that's, that's I already knew a bunch of but girls that got caught vodka, like that. So I, I already knew that yeah. that was never an option. It was take the whole bottle. Yeah, that was better. It was safer. probably take the safer oh, to take the whole safer. bottle. Like, yeah. you know, our parents were but at the same time, pies, man. They would forget. after the first time of ever dealing with that shit, like me and my cousin were just robbing Walmarts, bro. Like we just take a shopping cart and just put all the fucking alcohol and beer we want and then put all the sandwiches and chips and food we wanted for the party and shit. And we just push that shit out. Nobody fuck with you? They can not There's no chase policy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Or I, I would take I would take bottles and I would take bottles and just line my pants all the all the way around. I have bottles and a dupe. My homie would walk in front of me and I'd just walk right behind this fool and be like, later and not do it. Click clink 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 clink. Just line bottles all the way down your pants. But no, you just fill up a whole fucking. I mean, don't do this now, but yeah, just take a whole cart full of it. Damn, bro. Cause that's what I would take. I would take like run bottles out, right? And my cousin, he would pull up like with his homies with trunks full of liquor. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Like, how are you doing this shit? And it was like for way cheaper. And those they were like five dollars. Like we didn't give a fuck. And like he's like, dude, you got to fill up the cart with everything you need, and then just push it out. <laughs> just walk. Oh my, wow. Okay. Wow. Change the game. The ultimate light bulb. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And you saved a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You just load up the yeah, cart and just leave. Nothing to yeah, it. Yeah, you just go, like, bro. Stick and move, baby. It's the easiest place. We out. That's Fuck lit. a fake ID and all that yeah, extra that's shit. Too that's too much. You never get. <laughs> you're 16, <laughs> bro. Just you're not cl- me, You're nowhere close to 21. Yeah, you're not going to yeah. pass. You just take it. Just it take it. It takes less time yeah. Yeah. and energy to walk out. Yeah. We, used to, we used to go to Times Square and get um fake IDs, right? You just fill out the form, the keys will put whatever you want on it, and then um See, that's, fucking, that's probably great and about then living in 9 11 9 uh, 11 happened. That was game over. They shot all them spots. Now, I believe bro. it. And then you know the cops run down on you, just take your shit. I got my shit taken twice from police running down on us. We I was fine. We, 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 we were in front of a DT at fucking 16. 
JT I is think, when I was yeah, like yeah, right outside the joint. 17 or 18, I found a fucking ID in the homie that I had moved out. My mom kicked me out and moved to this dude named Matt. And we both were like tall. We both look similar, not even really close, but similar. But the ID we found was like a guy that was in between both of us, you know? Yeah, but the yeah, dude yeah. was like 26 or 27 or something. That shit worked for the longest time. Yeah, sometimes time, you get a good bro. one. We would just find them or like. Sometimes you get a good one, yeah. bro. Hell yeah. I wish that people fucking What's, made them. That'd be sick out here. I never heard of that out here. You got a uh, you got a story for the for the cool jeans about a, a time you got too high and just bugged the fuck out or some wild shit happened. Yeah, I feel like get, you do. I think yeah. Well, we got, <laughs> I think yeah. We got high at Walmart one time and like, I was. This is that time I was like robbing people. So we had this unmarked car, fucking uh, the lot, the next <laughs> like uh, row over, like er, on us and look at us. And start zooming around the like around the the aisle to come uh -huh. up, and my boys were like, "What's happening?" I'm like, "Well, we're either getting robbed, or we're going to jail." Like, I don't know what. So they pulled up on us, and it was cops, bro. And they were like, just like the super troopers, like they had my boy in the back. This fool was just hella high. They're like oh, smoking bro. and smoking reefer and or, you know whatever, <laughs> like making fun of them. Yo, that's hilarious, brother. <laughs> Yeah, they were just, just clowning on us, dude. And they were, they knew, I don't know, I guess they knew me. They were searching my shit. They were leaving my boys alone. But then they were uh, basically were like, if you if you drive and you smoke, it's a DUI. So you can't leave for like six hours yeah. or some shit. <laughs> I was at 24-hour Walmart, dude. I camped it out. That's right. <laughs> hey, sometimes you just got to camp it out, baby. Oh, man. They didn't want to play that game. So we ended up, we were in that bitch for like four or five hours. Just walking around, doing nothing. Doing nothing, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Throwing the football. <laughs> like, got, hey. we got hella high and just. You did what you <laughs> Now we to have do. to stay at Walmart. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yo, so I can't always ask this question on the show because not everybody grows, but you do. Give me a crazy growing story and I'm gonna tell you the story I want you to tell us. You know what I'm talking about at, at the house? When you. I, I remember, here's how I found out what was happening. You posted on Instagram. Somebody help me chop because I'm about to run all this shit fresh frozen. Who got some freezer? Some shit. <coughs> was it when I was about to get raided at my little house? Yeah, in the duplex? Well, the backyard. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, when you had, had shit, you had shit hanging all over your house. Yeah. So when you had a good idea of putting a hundred plants <laughs> in my duplex, <laughs> <laughs> my duplex, it's <coughs> well, my duplex at the time, we'll say. <laughs> sat behind uh, the backyard of it, basically, was apartment complex. So you had my little shitty-ass little tiny house, little yard. Like, you, there was no room to even walk around. You had, had to crawl and walk all the way around the sides. And I had to pay my homie Zach, who was smaller, to help me take care of it. <laughs> Just because he was small. Yeah, because we I trellised them bitches together. Right. So I could only reach, like, four plants in. He could, like, wiggle in the middle. And defoliate in the middle and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But like, I just had this thing like that backyard, no matter what, only does 10 pounds, whether you do four plants or a hundred, it's just the amount of sunlight it gets. And so I was just testing my theory, like right. that it's about sunlight and square footage. It's not necessarily about plants and how much. Yeah. So I packed a hundred plants in there. And, um, one day I, and I was trapping out of this house and one day a fucking helicopter, I'm in a, I'm in a little court, right? And then um, this helicopter is like, I mean, right above the tree. Like I could see this guy like looking at just, and he's circling my house, oh, circling man. my house, looking in my backyard. I'm like, is he for weed? So like every time he like circles the backside of the house, me and the homies are running all the dry flour over to our homie's house two doors down. You already chopped at this point? No, I had hella weed I was trapping out of okay. and we were growing there. I got you. So got I had you. a bunch of like flour I had to get yeah, out. Product. Yeah, yeah, so he would finished. go around the front of my house and go towards the back and then we would run out the front door and run to my homie's garage and just be taking trips of dry flour, yeah. as much shit from my yeah. house. We could, out of my guns, everything we're getting, or <laughs> stuff, out of my house, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, fuck, this shit's gonna be high. Some skittles. So then that Some night, I'm like, shit. yo, I need help. I like went on Instagram. I got like, shout out Puff Kings, I think, and like a bunch of other homies from like the Sesh world. Like, I don't even know who came to this day, to be honest. Like, I know it was like Puff Kings and like a couple other people I still don't know. And like, they just showed up and they all did work and they all worked for like a day or two. And they, they we, I was just in the back cutting. 
and I'd run to the side yard and hand it to like whoever, and then they'd hang it up. It was just a system throughout my whole house, bro. Yeah. My my just girls lines, and my right? wife they ha- they moved back to my mom's house. I just, just had a litter just for- of. Yeah, I just had a litter of pit bulls. So the 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 master bedroom, his family crib turned into a dog. Dry room. It was a straight the whole crib trap turned into a fucking house, dry room. Dry house. I ripped the carpet out of my bedroom. The 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 puppies went free range, bro. While I was just <laughs> just just go. Just oh god, go. dude! It was like we're gonna get through this, baby. Any crazy movie trap thing you've ever? It was that. It yeah, was, it was you just fucking that. pulled it off. Oh, well, I pulled it off, and then like at night, my the one night my wife came back to help. That night she was there, but the rest that she wasn't right uh i'm like cutting down she's like Shh, turn off the light turn off the light I'm like what turn everything off she's like there's a drone when I mean, she's seen this red light up oh there god, this thing's god. like right above my shit i'm like oh my god this is like a couple hours after the helicopter i'm like dude i'm going to jail so like we're just we're getting everything we can out and the house is just full of fucking weed yeah, like, trying at this trying point. at this point Stanky. yeah and i'm like my neighbor don't care I girl, swear to God. R.P. Henry Hill. We just watched that the other I night. I swear to God. Oh God I bro. kept thinking Henry Hill. Fucking Hendry over here. <laughs> fucking Hendry. So we man- I managed to get Let's every single thing Hendry. out by the. Uh, my last cut was when the sun was just poking up, and then you hear <laughs> helicopters again. Yeah, yeah. They come there out, go. they go right above my house, they do another lap, they fucking leave. I, they, they fucking they left. Chop. They They're chop. like he chopped like a gentleman. Mm-hmm. We're gonna leave him alone. We were about to raise. Let Jamie yep. get busy. There was a. Uh, oh, oh, what? No, you're good. You're good. What? No, you're good. I thought you were plugged up. So. Yeah, no, I thought I was plugged into something. There were uh, a bunch of boys around the corner with jackets on, waiting to get the word from the copter to pull up. Well, no, with that, you know what? That, oh yes, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I'll, boy, I'll tell you the story. Shit, that's probably. No, I'll tell you what really happened. What really happened is uh, that morning they served uh, probation raids in my neighborhood mm-hmm. and they killed that young cop, that rancho police officer in my neighborhood. That's fucking right. That so was they had my day, whole block that next day. They had my whole from Pep Boys from every, they had that whole block shut down because they kept for like the next fucking 48, that's 36 right, hours. Bro. They were kicking indoors for like that whole week, bro. I was just like this, like so damn you're you a small fish at this point. Yeah, well, all yeah. these other people had records. I was off probation. I just had a fat grow. So at the time, yeah, they were just right. kicking indoors with everyone on probation. They were trying to find the yeah. shooter. I think at the time, so I was like, "Thank fuck." Well, no, I don't want to say that, but I, yeah, I didn't. Nothing happened to my shit because they had bigger issues to deal with. You know, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Oh, man. That's crazy. Right that, over that, there at hey. that Pet Boys, I think it was. So that's the craziest growth story we've had thus far. Well done. <coughs> um, That's one of many, yeah, bro, dude. Got, I, I was got, out in Olive, Olive House. Olive Hurst You're in the lead. You're in the lead. Olive Hurst was crazy, bro. I lived in the, the, we were growing in this like ghetto, dude. Everyone was getting robbed. Every day you'd wake up, oh, so-and-so got robbed. So-and-so got jacked, you know? So I had, I had like flashlights t- taped to AKs. I had my little 14-year-old brother out there <coughs> strapped. We were just like in the middle of the night, dude. Just like, I know you're fucking out there. Like I could hear people. I could definitely yeah, yeah, see them. Yeah. I'm like, I'll fucking shoot you. Like, it's not worth it. Pick another spot, right? Pick another spot, so yeah. every day we're doing that. One day, like I, I see like cops walking into my grill and I'm like, oh. what the fuck? I'm like taking the nine off tip, hide the AK, right? Right. Like right. and go out there. They're like, hey, uh, we've had complaints to like flashlights at all hours of the night. And I'm like, yeah, it's fucking kids trying to steal my weed. They're like, oh, you're growing? I'm like, yeah. They're like, how much you got? Well, I only grew, like, it was 10 yards wide, maybe 15 yards wide, but it went on for 100 yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was nighttime. So I was like, it's right there. And they just shined their flashlight. They looked at it, like, oh, okay. Didn't look like much. No, they would have had to go, like, oh, oh shit, you know? <laughs> they are like, oh, okay, all right, we'll try and keep it down. I was like, oh, sorry, thank you. Wow, good thing you ain't bust no shots out. Bro, dude. I, yeah, I would like never do that. Like a couple warning shots? But, yeah, we don't do warning shots out here, bro. Yeah, yeah right? It's, yeah. yeah, it's either, yeah, do so, or die. For sure. Wow. Um, well then, how about this? Um, if you could smoke with one person, who would it be? I'll give you one dead, one alive. Ooh, famous or just in my life? Whatever you want, bro. It's your world. Ooh, shit. Do the marijuana want. Mike. I know everybody knows marijuana. I think no, a I lot of people know, know marijuana Mike. And like, unfortunately, he probably got a bad rap towards the end of his run because he was doing shady shit. But he was a good dude when he wasn't, and that motherfucker, I'm pretty sure, gave me the name Turkey Bag Tom. No so shit. Okay. when he was, he, that, he was a good dude. Like I'll give him that. So um, if I could bring him back, he I think he died to a seizure a, a year or two ago. Unfortunately, okay. he was young. I'd bring him back. Um, 
famous or something like that. Uh, Ooh, July, sit down, smoke a joint, have a conversation. Yeah, like a dope oh, conversation. Famous, not, you know. I don't really give a fuck about no fan. Honestly, it'd be like it'd be like my real dad or like my real grandfather, cool my dad's that. dad. Like I would, I would want to just be like, I'd, I, I yeah. yeah. Why didn't you ever yeah. do that? Where well, I never really met him, you know? Just hella shit. Yeah. Just there's like people like in my family I don't really know. So I'd probably want to chop it up with them <laughs> more so than like some famous people. I don't even really think of any like no, no famous said, people you know, came cool. to my head too. really. That was to be solid honest, too. that was solid too. Um, what's the first smoking device you ever had to MacGyver? Ooh, I think we were doing yeah. like apples. Was like, well, apple? I was in ceramics. Like I took ceramics. We took art class and oh, shit. Yeah, we wood shop. Fartsy, fartsy with oh it. fuck yeah, you're allowed to. So I was trying to get the best GPA I could so I could play uh, football. So you needed two point So I'd stack art and like ceramics with like okay fucking PE and fucking social studies or something like a guaranteed three point oh. But then yeah. I'd make a pipe. They'd take them from right. us. They'd ban so it. She's making real pipes. You didn't go for the can. Fuck the apple. And uh, I'm, we, it. I'm gonna make. Yeah, no, we pipe. tried to make them at first. Uh, we had kids that would like steal them from their dads. I think I took like a little sneak a toke from my pops one time. Like, nice. What's the sneak a toke? A one hitter? Just a little one hitter. Yeah. yeah. I think I just. Brass I, joint? I, yeah, I actually yeah. have a hella nice brass yeah. joint that I found. Yeah, but these ones were just. Those. Those they were dope. just like those maybe this out. big, Fuck. fucking just a little bowl. You know, probably burn your fucking, I mean, you oh know, God, burn your no. fucking eyebrows before you'd smoke the weed type of shit. Because you, you know? pack it so fucking tight. Well, that, and it's just so small, and you don't yeah. know, and so you could, yeah, there's just tricks of the trade yeah. that you don't yeah, know when you're you don't young, know. so you're fucking <laughs> smoking your eye, and you're like, how is this enjoyable? Yeah, you know, yeah, shit like that. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. You know, like, yes, yes. Yeah, by the time you're done, you're so beat up, you're not sure if you want to <laughs> yeah. do it again, you know? Fucking so. thumb hurts. <laughs> yeah, man. What's your uh, top three strains of all time, bro? One old, one um, you can only smoke for the rest of your life. Desert Island. Desert Island. And one, uh, and one of the new ones. Sherb. 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 Sherb's Desert Sherb. Island. I mean, it would be. I like be, that for the Desert Island strain. And either, it, if it had to be, it would okay. be Sherb. I mean, Sherb, yeah. Or any of those other That's questions. That's where Candy started. Yeah, it would be Sherb because you can get the best of both worlds out of that. Um, yeah. Old school? Old school, I'd definitely bring it back like. Um, I really like the G13s and like the, uh, fuck, what is that? What is that? He brought up the Af Goo. The Af Goo, bro. Yeah, I was like, the Af Goo. Farms brought up the Af Goo. My God, dude. Well. The Af brought up yep. the Af Goo as the old. Yep. Just because, I mean, so I, the, the structure Bundle, was so nice. You, we made so much money off that <laughs> shit that, like, it was just, it holds a special it's a personal, part. It's a personal thing for you. We had, I had this strain that, I don't even know if it was really a strain, but the Mexican dude I used to, I was t- talking about, he had this shit called Burgundy. And it was one of them things where you're like, dude, well, there's only four zips of this shit, you know? And I'd probably bring that back. It was just, that's the it. hairs were fucking maroon, bro. Just Yo, that's crazy you say that. That was my last, next question. If you could bring a strain back, what would it be? Ooh, probably, that with the Burgundy? Probably be the, yeah, the Burgundy. I mean, now they'd probably call it Ron Burgundy, but. Oh, for sure. Oh, you know, back in the day, so like, you weren't thinking brand. about it, but yeah, it's already but got red hairs, you know? Right? Yeah, oh, God, like. No, that one. We're going to wait to drop this it, podcast. <laughs> what's Ron his name? Uh, Hugs Alternative. So last time I seen this cat, I'm going to put it on Burgundy. your podcast. Maybe we can find this dude. So he went by Danger. And he last time I seen him, I was doing some stupid traffic control shit at the mall, and I seen him pass by, and he was like, "Hey, what's up?" And wrote his fucking name, or not his name, obviously, because I don't know his real name, but he wrote his number on the back of a Hugs Alternative care card, like the. And so I've always thought, thought that maybe he worked there, or vended there, or knew someone there. Like, why would you have that card? I don't know. So, if anyone can put me in place with danger. Danger, where you at, homie? <laughs> Danger. Mexican cat. Where are you at? What about, uh? so what's the new one? You didn't give us a new one. I could, I jump. I jump. Uh, new strain, I mean. So what's smoking lately? What's like really fuck? What do you really fuck with lately? It's a good question. Probably, I'm gonna have to say, like, the, obviously, everyone else on the Zope RS11 type hype, but. Uh, it's a good one. It's good one. It's tasty. Something different. Honestly, I'm really not. Uh, uh, like a hype whore or like a one strain whore. Like I really prefer works, smoking something different every single time. Me too. Time. I like a variety. Like that's for sure. why my menu is usually so crazy because Same. 
I have to smoke the shit. Like, yeah. I get bored yeah. fast, especially nowadays. It's so everything's so, so goddamn options, crossed. Right? Well, everything is so similar, too. Like, you're really yeah. not getting too crazy <laughs> I think out there with a different well. bag. Like, it, it's, it's... We're chasing batches at more, more or less. Yeah, get started at the gym. Yeah, y'all go ahead. I got one right here. Okay, sure. sure. So... Yeah, I mean, uh, I think everything is it's more batch instead of the strain now. Like, I'd rather ha- I'd rather have just some A one batches. I don't care less. Yeah. half the time on the strains as long like, as A one. Like uh, Buck Mountain Triple A Depths, bro. Shout Dude, out to when it's it's so it's just good weed, good, bro. Like, like it's just good you, cannabis, bro. And guys will send the menu kind of and expect me to pick a by it's name. It's by a name, bro. I'm like, I need to like, see I it. I need to see the jars because oh, I yeah. want the best one. in I don't know what that is just by name because yeah. I don't know how it's grown. Like so, thank you. Yeah. You know, if, unless they're all exactly the same process by the same person, yeah. I can just genuinely pick. And I've had it before. Mm-hmm. I really want to see it from this batch. Yeah, come yeah. on, you have to. You have to, man. Yeah, and I prefer to be like, okay, so that shit was dope, but I'm going to venture back to this shit. I, I, if you have eight or ten different kinds on your menu. You might not smoke some shit for like a whole week. You right. might double back on something. It might be total different palate. Like total. Yeah. I mean, it might be smoking different, cured up yeah, better. Exactly. You oh, know I what that. I mean? You might adjust your pricing or the way get, you feel about something. Because keeping it funky, we get weed fresh out here. We fresh. get weed really fresh. real fresh. So yeah. Do, we get we do get the opportunity to wait week. Let's two, be real. No grower. Before. Like I'm not gonna say no grower, but most growers are not gonna harvest their weed. Wait fucking ten days to trim it. You know. And then wait another thirty days to cure that shit right, and burp it every day, and right, right, right. do all the work that it takes with that. No, right. most people the day that it shit's trimmed, they bag it up and they try and get it off to the next person and make it someone else's problem. It'll cure along the way. Yeah, cure It'll way, cure right, along yeah. the way. Some, like, some does, bro. Like no most shit. it's not getting the love it needs. Let's be real. What's the um? What's the most uh, good pizza you ever gifted somebody and why? And the reason why I ask that question is because. I really learned that about the California culture, the weed culture. Like, there's so much weed is gifted, and you always pay it forward. And like, I like to bring that back to the East Coast, my cool jeans on the East Coast, and like, where I learned that from. Because now I do that a lot. Where's, what's saying? the most that the I've most given? Most weed someone? you ever gifted somebody, and why'd you do it? Ooh. Or just whatever, just a recent one. Like, I mean, just that I gave my boy half P like, what, maybe a month ago. Nice. Two months ago. Why'd you do it? Cause I could. Solid. Yeah, he was saying he needed a little something, and I didn't really send him much or nothing. I mean, I was sending zips for like eighty or a hundred, and I sent him like ten zips or something. He was saying his dad could flip them and he could make money. Yeah, you know, whatever. There you go. And he got it, and he was like, "Yo, this shit ain't really all that great." And I was like, "Bro, I wasn't trying to really. I was just. You said you needed something. I figured you could get something with that. You yeah. know, I don't really know. It's sitting here, so I mean, I don't really." Yeah, if I got it, I don't mind giving it up at all. Like, I know, I know a homegirl that it's been good. copping off me for a long time. She owes me probably like fourteen hundred. She just re- wrecked her car and all this shit, but I just gave her another thousand dollars worth of weed. Like, I know she's gonna be good for it. She's been around for a long time, five years or nice. four, you know, four years. So whenever she gets back on, she'll she'll make it right with me and. I might not be rich. I'm definitely not rich, but at the same time, I'm able to wiggle and be able. I'll be able to manipulate the numbers yeah. to cover until she can exactly. make it right, yeah. and I'm not gonna trip out about it. You know? Exactly. Everyone. Good to have, be in a position to do that. Well, Absolutely. I just at the same time, I hope that if I ever needed to fucking ask for another day or I need another, if I come up short and need another something, like God damn, I'd hope that someone would want to do that for me. Exactly. So, you know, life happens. Mm-hmm. You know, I just look at track records, really. Goddamn right, and that's what's probably <coughs> about keeping your name strong. Like, yeah. Because when you know, uh, when these do things happen, because shit does happen. Oh yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, he owed me you ten know, grand. It took me a safe. year to pay me back, but he paid me back. Type of shit. That goes a lot farther than like yeah, that fool owed me ten grand and never seen him again. Like, right. I'd rather you take if you. Yeah. I got this one dude. He owed me like ten grand or thirteen grand or some shit. I immediately was like, yo, don't worry about the other three. We'll call it ten. Right. Just. And it's like been two fucking years. I'm trying to tell him, bro, you could have given me fifty dollars a week, exactly. and you could have yeah. been damn near there, like, oh yeah, it's, you know, or whatever. You could have made a whole payment plan, plan. instead. Sense. Every time you come at me trying to ask for more work, yeah. you still don't show me the effort. Like, 
I'm a big about effort, like, or yeah, if I call and you don't tell me, like, the real story or if you're, like, that shit is playing weird. games, I just, let's just be honest. Like, let's just get to honestly tell me what really happened. Let me make my decision before you assume what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because I'm not, I, I'm understanding. Oh, like, God, don't waste my time. Please take, give me the bad news immediately. Yeah. Spend Rip the fucking band-aid off. Let's go. Right. And him and um, all this, I could have been bro. Yeah. And fixing problem. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. Just tell me what's happening and let me exactly. and let me figure out what to do, bro. Don't exactly. Like a yeah, you put me on hold for a week. I've already buried you twice, bro. Do you realize if you would have just opened your mouth, we could have fucking fixed this? Like, exactly. fuck. Like, fuck, bro. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, keeping your name strong. Keep yeah. your name strong is, is essential in these streets. Mm-hmm. And in life, no, no and in life, weapons. no. Like everybody's gonna take a loss. Nobody's undefeated in our game. No, no. You know, bad shit happens. But I don't know many people just retiring. So I know you gotta do this forever. There's right. gonna be. Yeah. But when your name strong, people believe bad shit happens. They don't believe you're on fuckery. Like you know, yeah. your name's not doing your credit score is bad out here. Credit, and, like, oh, man. Fucking, credit score in the streets you know, is so valuable. Bad happens, That's what I'm saying, so bro. Valuable. What happened? That's what I think is more valuable <coughs> than like going to school. You can get all that shit, but I could literally pull up a forty or fifty k on the front today, right now. I could Easy. go get oh, yeah, forty to fifty k worth of fucking product without just even putting a dollar down just on my name just on within name. a few hours, like okay. I was guaranteed. Like it was ten years ago or something, but. My credit score on the street was eight hundred. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah, four fifty. Yeah, because I don't I have like, revolving I credit. Never did it? I yeah, never yeah. The, I was thirty five before I ever started dealing with credit. Yep. I was kind I'm of the same way. I bought twenty cars. I, you know, I'd I'm like, what? What? Shit, what I'm like a four eighty five yeah, credit score. Like, like you haven't like, had credit in fifteen just years. Just not car. established credit. I yeah. Buy a car, and they were like, bro, uh, you'd get a better percentage if you had a repo. They were like, how have you been living? Like, uh, <laughs> cash living. is king. Like, like, yeah, I've been paying cash. That, that's that's what my dad always said. Cash, cash is king. Like, yeah. no more. I'm zero yeah. debt. Right. That's yeah, what I always say. Right. Yeah, I'm 30 years old and I don't own a bunch of money. Like, what the yeah, fuck? That's like, how weird is things. It? Like, or like when you close a credit card account down, it fucks your credit up. Like, what? <laughs> I knew something was weird because when I was like 18, I got my mom to co-sign on a car. I went out and bought it like a nice Explorer. Paid that shit off hella quick. Like two years later, I go pay it off. My credit goes from, I had like 750, 800, like what you're saying. And then it goes down. And I went into the bank and tried to ask her, like, why the fuck did my credit go down? And they're like, oh, you have to have more, you have to owe more money. You have to revolve, revolving credit. If you don't owe us, then you don't. I'm like, so if I don't, if I pay it off, I don't. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. If I pay it off, my score don't go up. No, it goes no. down. I'm like, fuck, I always got to owe you guys. This is a yeah. fucking game. It's a dirty fuck game, that. bro. That's what I I'm like, this is a. It's a dirty game. I'm like, you're the best fucking coke playing. dealers it's ever. Game, you gotta play the game. It's all the game. Yeah, bro, they're the best cocaine dealers in the world. And then they like, give you a little yeah, more. Yeah, I'll love, give bro. you a little they're more. Sharks. They're legal loan sharks, dude. And I'm like, fuck. It's fuck terrible, that. man. But yeah. But yeah, yo, check this out. I don't know if you know this, um, but Plug Day's coming up. Um, plug day. You know, like there's Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Dog Day, Brother Day. Shut up! They didn't make a plug. Plug Day. No, I made it. It's June sixteenth. I've been waiting every for episode. It. Every every episode. Everyone be like, you know, I'm so because fucking we record these ahead of time. Here's so an extra hundred. So, I ain't so never got that. Like, see? so you yeah, just get, you always have you the dope. Get, it, get your fucking extra. your favorite plug a fucking bag or something. Give him a dub. Buy him a fucking coffee. Yeah, he's looking to receive. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm like, you. okay, I'm right. Fuck. He's he's so it's June sixteenth. I'm spreading the word, bro. Just give me some time. It's gonna hit. It's gonna. Do you know my favorite plug? No, I don't. And then, then the next question is shout out your favorite plug. Oh, man, I can't. From back in the day. Uh, you could use a street name, man. You got to take it easy. I mean, you're my, you're a plug. You're a Am plug. I your favorite? Yeah, you're my favorite. Thank you. You're my favorite today. You know? <laughs> All right, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. I mean, Thanks, no, man. yeah, definitely. We've, we've been killing it lately. So you've been my favorite plug lately. For sure. I miss uh, when Cali Growers got some depths. I'll shout him out. Like, All right, that's always nice when he's when he's got fresh harvest. Shout out Cali Grower, because he's on one of those show, types right? of people you that get him on the show, you got to right? get him on the show. Because he's he's old school Definitely. too. He's Cali one of those people like well, if you don't know him from back in the day, Gene. you're not buying from him. Whether regard, he has hundreds of pounds to move or not, like he's only fucking with like maybe me or two two other people. There's oh, you're not coming on this property if I don't know you. Yeah. So I've been like 
You uh, he's put me into some it. stupid situations too because of that. Because like I'll have like someone come get samples, right? And then the next day the buyer will come and he's like, oh, I don't want to have people in my house today. And I'm like, well, we're, we got to do a hundred pack at the gas station in this right. one town, <laughs> one building town. Of, you know what I mean? And right. I'm like, fuck it. And these guys don't want to do it. Everyone just drove two hours to find out that, you know, and it's not just him. Growers do that shit all the time. Yeah. They like change their mind. They don't want to do business on their property, or whatever. And then you got to do a hundred pack all deal. On you. Yeah, you got to try to find, figure out how to do this deal in the middle of the woods and convince two parties that no one's going to get killed. <laughs> right. Like, I remember I took my friend Marijuana Mike. Shout, I was just talking. I took him out with me on a deal. I was taking. I just took him with me. He yeah. thought I was going to kill him. <laughs> What? He thought I was gonna kill him because we were on this on the wild dark box play. Yes, yeah. And box I was just like, bro, shady, this bro. is just how it is. And like, shade is a lot he's of like, bro, I thought you guys were literally bringing me out here to kill me. He's like, it's so dark, and I'm the only black guy out here. I just figured like I did something wrong. And I was just like, no, <laughs> no, bro, no. relax. Working, bro. Yeah, I'm like, just we need to just sit here in the dark just for in the dark. thirty minutes to an hour until whenever dude wants to come down the hill and give us the weed, like. Terrible. Oh, hill time, man. Hill time. <clears throat> hill time is a little long. They are on a whole different Before time frame. Hotel, uh, right. Now and almost everybody in the hotel is doing this similar yeah. thing. Yeah. We're in this small town around here. Yeah. yeah. He's scared about getting a body here. Fucking all this shit. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of variables. Medical model was wild. A lot, a lot of variables. Lot of Bud Trader. Did you ever do Bud Trader? No, I watched the niggas do Bud Trader. I watched a couple niggas. That's how I got my dude. That's how I got one of my neck after the Mexican dude was this this dude uh, Sam Con- McConnell or Sam Connell from Yuba City, head of the Yuba County uh, Growers Association. That dude was the best plug. That was the best plug ever. <laughs> that was the best plug. You found him on Bud Trader. Mm-hmm. Nice. You and the, any, the uh, thing was, he was I was emailing him for like two years about like going up there i thought it was hella far for some reason and it was like in like lincoln or like <laughs> right. orville not even orville right. like i thought Super it was hella light. far so i was talking about what these what if games for like two years and finally he's like just come up and like my prices went from like 2400 to like 1200 and my my quality like doubled this dude had like he was the man dude nice he was the man nice so i was like oh, okay yeah shout out to him man um, yeah, so always follow those little rabbit holes, and you never know where you're gonna go. If someone says they got something or whatever, just check. It might be something worth checking out. You might put yourself in a good position. Facts, Facts bro. Hey, you you talk a lot about that. Who do I need to know? Who do I need to know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, connections, making connections. Yeah, that's it. usually. You always speak first when you, you always speak to someone when you're out. You oh yeah, them always. Them oh yeah. I got here by going Absolutely. to places that most people wouldn't go. You never know where it might you take. Never exactly know. Exactly what mm-hmm. he's saying. Follow that rabbit hole. I might not necessarily want to know you, but I might want to know who you know, and, and I might not want to even know who they know. I might want to know who they know. You know what I'm saying? You just that's called tap rooting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You just net, network. Um, so, what's the best advice someone ever gave you in life? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. No, my, uh, right. I just, I don't know if I was ever told it, but I was kind of, my pops just kind of showed me like longevity. Like you could, you could look like that and drive that, and then you're gonna be this is what's gonna happen, or you can drive this and act like this, and you could be my age. And like my pops no, is the I only person exactly I know to saying. retire ever. What, what he's saying, I don't know is... anyone out the game, out the game with 50, 100 bands chilling. Like I there ain't nobody out there doing it. And then like yeah. that, I don't have never met him. Never. Yeah. Without having to get dirty or do shit, like, and still be able to make money if you want to, and be living like a square, you know? Like, yeah. that's that's my goal, really. Yeah. If I can get yeah. a few hundred and walk away, yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm straight. Watched, uh, only a few will fully do it, but I watched a few. Yeah. Into real estate. Yeah. Real estate and, and like trucking businesses. He he was buying yeah. houses and growing in them. And then when like she, I went to jail, my brother got uh he got damn near uh, yeah he went to jail. My mom got like a DUI that week. Hell of shit went bad. My dad was like, pff, my stepdad was like, I'm out. So we he sold the three grow houses he had, and I'm like, I'm sure that's like you know real estate's probably good. So yeah, if you can get into that. And then if you have a way out, like if you can still take a step back and still have something to, to for like money, like, so that's why I'm trying to buy up as much property as I can. Yeah. Because on a bad day, like 
I could sell that property that I paid 50 for for 80 to 130 right now. So on a bad day, I go. Those states are good. My next door neighbor put a modular on his house and they sold it for like 376 or 476, something like that. So, I mean, dude, it's. It ain't rocket science. It's just you fucking. Just gotta be out here you gotta stop. Nothing, stop putting yourself in positions uh, to take a loss. Like, do what the that fuck too. works. Just mind your business. Risk. Mind take your fucking business. Risk. And look at the future. What yeah. you're doing is most of us live in the now. Most mm -hmm. of us have a five, ten year we're plan. Check to check, and we're on yeah, this no. Or what yeah. we have in the That's how you get stuck. What, but we don't put the little parts aside. Yeah. For, uh, the future i recommend like retirement. if uh, for any young trappers out there if you're asking about like what i recommend fucking put up a year's worth of whatever bills you got before you keep buying the lean and the cars and the dumb shit put up a year's worth of bills go put another year's worth of bills in stock mm -hmm. and then go buy a property that's solid man like, that's I, solid I advice do shit else like if that's you're getting money solid. right now and you're not doing something with it you're not buying stocks or land and you're buying clothes and you're buying lean and you're buying you, you're a fucking idiot that's been my yeah. in my personal opinion had people Message. showed me had people Message. told me back when i was selling Preach. fucking pills and make dude i was 15 16 years old making three four five grand a week off fucking ecstasy with yeah, nothing right. to do but buy the whole fucking the whole party everyone taco right. bell and buy everyone whatever all, the fuck take all my yeah. i'll take all my boys out had i known i could have just bought property off my dad I could have invested For in real. hella companies. You know how many, dude, you know how many, a million, I probably pissed away a million dollars on dumb shit. <laughs> you know what like, Amazon bro. stock cost that year? Yeah. <laughs> that was doing I know, I know how much it is right now. I'm up today. Yeah. Thank God I, I bought more instead of <laughs> sold it. I'm up like 800 today, but mm -hmm. yeah, dude, it's just fucking think ahead because if this shit don't work, how long can you sit on your ass and think of a new play? And put give yourself that much cushion of money because you always have to reinvent yourself. You always I'm a turkey bag Tom fucking toasted cans. There's something else. I promise you, there's something different besides that. You already got something don't. else in the yeah. Chain before you, you think I'm gonna be like this forever? Hell no. Because people only support what they don't know, and if they know you, but, they're not. You know what I mean? So you always got to be on. That's something. an interesting point. I'd rather have. I'm. A, I swear to God, I've had my haters support me until they find out. Oh shit, that's you again. Fuck man. <laughs> You're gonna end up be smoking my butt off the different bag in a different yeah. brand and enjoy that until you find out it's me and you ain't gonna yeah. like it. You know, it's just it is what it is. Sacramento, yeah. you know, I'm a, it's fine. You have to put your plate, start putting your weed in other states, start doing some shit other than here because here ain't working. So yeah, diversify. I feel it. I sure. feel it, bro. Well, shit, man. We got. I'm gonna hit you with some rapid fires real quick, and then we're gonna drop our handles and get the fuck up out of here. Okay. So, uh, do you like to smoke in the hot or the cold? Oh, cold. cold. BHO or rosin? Rosin. LED or HPS? HPS. Living soil or cocoa? Mm, cocoa. Street smarts or book smarts? Street. Beavers or butthead? Never got to watch that shit. Young boy. No, my mom wouldn't let me watch it. <laughs> SpongeBob or Patrick? Oh, Patrick. Batman or Superman? Never was into that shit. <laughs> Street, fight, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Huh? Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Never None? Of that. No. Sativa or Indica? Indica. Football or baseball? Football. Bike or skateboard? Bike. New York or LA? I say New York. LA is trash. <laughs> oh, I've never been to New York. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Pizza or tacos? Ooh, tacos. Gelato runs, candy turps, or OG gas? OG gas. Wu Tang or Death Row? Death Row. All right, all right. Well, shit, man. Thanks for coming out, brother. Yes, sir. It's, it's been it's been fun, man. Where can my cool jeans find you, bro? Uh, Turkey bag Tom 2.0. Uh, there are some fakes out there, so make sure it's 2.0. 2.0 uh, or Toasted okay. Cannabis Co. Uh, both on Instagram. Can we can we help oh, you with I anything? Got Telegram can, too. Can my people help you with anything for your brand or your mission before we go? Mm. You need help with anything from my network to yours? Yes, I definitely need like marketing. I need a website. I need fucking people who know tech stuff. People who know how All to right. work a computer. I don't know how to do that shit. I don't know how to work my phone. So so hit your DM. Yeah, yeah. 
someone right, who can man. help me like make shirts and stay on top of shit. I got too much other stuff to do. So someone who can. I might know somebody that can help. I might got a guy. Yeah. I might got a guy. Yeah. Put it together for the follow article, through. Man. I need someone with the follow through. No doubt. No doubt. We need someone to follow up this guy. We. So check this out, man. Hit the website for the merch, goodpizza.com with three Z's. We just dropped some three hats. Z's. This is this is gonna be old by then. Uh, summer drops uh, gonna be on fire by the time you see this. Uh, Turkey bag Tom uh, promo code Gabagool, all caps. Uh, appreciate y'all coming out again. Thank you, Jamie, at the Wild Podcast, Wild Jones Podcast Network. As always, brother. Thank you. Um, yeah, man. And we'll see y'all next time, man. Good hooking up, man. As always, peace, love, good pizza. We up out of here. Check, check. Hey, Cool Jeans. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Check this out, guys. I need your help. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. It really helps, believe it or not. And if you're feeling generous, you want to help out your big Cool Jean, go on over to Patreon and leave me a couple fazools. You know what I'm saying? We're just trying to make the podcast bigger and better. I'm not going to go spend it on weed. We sell weed over here at Good Pizza. You feel me? So uh, don't forget to also check out the website if you want merch, gear, or any kind of swag we got. You feel me? Um, it's going to be at goodpizza.com. That's with three Zs. And uh, just hit me with a DM for the promo code, man. Matter of fact, I'll give it to you real quick so you, since you my cool jeans. It's Gabagool, all caps, G-A-B-A-G-O-O-L. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate y'all, man. As always, peace, love, good pizza. We'll see y'all next time.